I don't really like to drink. I, I, I to be honest, I don't you drink at all, though, bro. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but... New York City. I'm Trevor Walls. I will be there for one show. Very small, very intimate, last minute show. Working on some new shit. September 29th at City Winery in the Loft Room. It only holds like 160. Super packed in. September 29th. Just added Kansas City. KCMO. October 13th through the 14th. Friday, Saturday. Four shows, pretty small club, uh, should sell out pretty quick. I'm stoked to come fuck around and get ready for Australia. Bitch, I'm going down under, and I'm packing that thunder. Melbourne, Australia, October 25th. Brisbane, October 27th. Sydney, October 28th. And Perth, October 30th. Trevor Wallace live in Australia. Four cities, five nights. I don't know if that makes sense. You know what I mean. TrevorWallsComedy.com. Michael Blaustein is going to be yelling about feet this weekend, this Saturday, at the Libero Theater in Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara, California. His Denver special is sold out. He's going to be in Nashville October 5th through the 7th, baby, at Zany's Phenomenal Club. Go see him. Stanford, Connecticut, sold out. This is Michael Blaustein. He's going to be at Philadelphia Parks Theater in, in uh, what's Pennsylvania? Motherfuckers got Amish out there. Bro, he's doing a casino. I'm so proud of my boy. Low tickets October 20th. October 21st, the Wilbur. First show sold out. Second show, low tickets. You don't understand, guys. That's the Wilbur. The Wilbur Theater. It's fucking massive. It's like 12,000, 1,200. It's one of those. Houston, Texas is going to be the October 27th through the 29th while I'm being down fucking under. Then he's going to be in Salt Lake City. Those initials are sluts. November 3rd through the 5th. And you can find all that. BlauComedy.com. Go see Trevor. Go see Michael. <laughs> We're on tour. Go to my website, TrevorWallsComedy.com or BlauComedy.com. We love you. Thank you for supporting the podcast. This is a single man podcast now. What did you just ask for? Lotion. Do we have lotion at the Stitch I know, Socks that was the stupidest podcast. question. I wasn't even trying to be funny. Here's the thing. It's just I saw your... Uh, a trash I guess, can? Well, I don't... What Garbage? is that area that you have? Common guests? room. I, you're so what rich. You haven't been to is an that... office in like 20 years. I, I have <laughs> like, What is this community? What is that is this area a over soup there? Kitchen? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, common area. Common area. So you have a common yeah. area over here, and uh, your garbage yeah. is overflowing. It's full. You know, yeah. we work. We work full. hard here. You know, your garbage is full is when uh, when you go to put something on the garbage, uh -huh. you're balancing it. Yeah, but you're what? like I'm balancing but it because I don't like, want it to you're fall playing, down. Like, Jango with yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. of the trash can. This part, the bottom part, fills up in maybe an hour. Yeah, but what that is top, that? that top area, yeah. you can go two weeks just delicately oh, yeah, putting yeah, on. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There's like the Kit Kat wrappers on top of a Celsius bottle, and it's art. Yeah, yeah, it is art. It is. It's modern art. But what, what it is, is like, it, you can't throw away. It's like people who do laundry when it's not past the brim. Yes, exactly. Do you do, you do your own laundry? There's no There's fucking no way. There's no way you don't. No, I, I don't. Think, I think Which you're house? <laughs> you know what I, mean? I think you're a guy who takes off a white t-shirt and throws it outside. You go, for the birds. I don't even know if you have birds where you live. I don't have birds. But, um, I mean, who was it? Eddie Griffin has new shoes every show. Are you, what's your rider? That's so funny. Is your rider I don't have crazy? a rider. I do. No I rider? have a rider, but it's, it's, it's so like. Like it, there's nothing like one hibachi chef. What are we talking? No, Two no, Rolexes. I don't. My writer is yeah. really like just. I like to just have coffee. Okay, okay. Uh, but and I have to have a special me? water. What's the water? What's the special? Yeah, yeah. It's pH. It's called. Uh, it's called pH. Okay. Perfect hydration. If you said like Arrowhead, I'd be like, you're not a real person. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Dasani. <laughs> uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just those Room two things. Dasani, I don't yeah. care about. Fruits, vegetables, I don't care anything about that. I don't care about alcohol, no alcohol. I don't need any of that. Let me ask you a But I need t-shirts, brand new t-shirts. Nice. And Certain I have brand, to have them. How many? <laughs> what size are you? I like it's, this. Okay, this is so it's James Purse 3, right? Size 3. Okay. Crew, and it's the Japanese cotton. Is See, I love that. You're just a man who knows. I don't even think that's because of your status. You're just a, how old are you? I'm 52. You're, that's just a 52. You're like, I know it feels good on my body. Yes. I know what I want. And I know what looks good. Yeah. Exactly. And I, and I know when I go on stage, it's perfect. You don't and need to show the Supreme that wraps around. It's like, no. it's just comfortable. Yeah. It's yeah. comfortable. Every, is this the t-shirt that you generally get? Yeah, yeah. Can I feel it? No, oh, you'll love it. You'll buy it tonight. You'll, you'll. Oh, shit. No, you nice. will. You will. Shit. Let me get it. It's, it's it no feels joke. like my mother's tits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, would you, and no bullshit, it's made from your mother's tits. What? Yeah. Are you serious? It said it yep. on the. Yeah, I saw it. So yeah. it's imported. It's imported. She's in like yeah. North Carolina, I believe. It, yeah, 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 yeah. 
North what? Cackalack is what they call it. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, they call it North that's Cackalack nice. Cotton. God, that's so, <laughs> sounds so, great. I know. <laughs> so, did you ever go through a phase where it was super flexy and you're on stage when you're wearing Versace? Because comedy's never been super outright. I, flex. I, I'm, the, I'm the first one. Really? I, I believe so. You can, th- you, can think, you can check my receipts. Hold on, the first but one. I was what? always but, the one with Prada and Gucci and. Oh, but was okay, it okay. subtle? I was the, like always it, subtle, always subtle. Okay, that's what I feel like. It's like subtle. It never always. Like, was I never like flex it big. Yeah, but yeah. I'm the first one with Supreme out. All that. Yeah, really. We first one very right, bread to, elevens, yeah. flip threes. I was the one. All my specials. You'll you'll see me first. But it's kind of like and if then you they know, came you know. after. Really? <laughs> yeah. Check my shit. Well, it's hard to go like, to all my specials. You'll see. But, How many specials do you have? I have. Uh, Let me have one. I have yeah. you have you're you're you're, November, you're about, to, you're about to destroy. Um I don't know. I think I have I, I have one, two, three, so cool. four on yeah. Netflix, and then I have two on Comedy Central plus a half hour, and I got two more on Netflix coming up. So that's too I don't many. Know. It's like, <laughs> no, no, too no, many. no, that's like and I think that's average for anyone. <laughs> average how, yeah, how, for, for my for what I've how many years I've been in it. I've how been long have you been in it for? I've been doing it since eighty nine. I don't know math. Dude, yeah. Is that Woodstock? I don't know anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. 89? That's when you guys were inside a sock. I was. Oh, yeah, that's when you guys were inside I a sock. I was just a regret in my dad's head. Your dad's? Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Well, you, my dad was somewhere the other in Ohio. half was that you were in the sock. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. Until your dad found. My mom. Your mom. Yes. Yeah. He no, he no yes. longer used the sock. Here. sock. And then it, he made. Then he used your Trevor, mom's vagina. Then he made Trevor. Trevor. That's me. That's you. Him. And you were born in? Um, a sock. <laughs> no, when were you born? What year? Ninety two. See, I was right. I don't make this up. Wait, <laughs> <I'm in laughs> the That's your dad's sock. So I this was in sock for three you. years. You, yeah. I was just getting seasoned in there. You were getting. Your dad was working. Okay. He was figuring marinating. out. Marinating. Marinating. My dad was somewhere in Ohio selling cars. <laughs> were you planned? I believe so. I think second oh. child children right. are always planned. Were you planned? Oh, yeah. second that that's a good. Please write that down. Second child's always planned. That's I, a good line. I was not planned. That's a good. I'm second, a second kid you, and I was not planned. No, that's. I really was shit. a cocaine baby. His story is hilarious. He was born on Thanksgiving or not born. I was conceived on Thanksgiving at my grandma's house. My dad and my mom were high on cocaine. Oh, I love that. Yeah, and but then they're Thanksgiving. Were yeah, you're so full. You do a bunch of drugs. You're yeah. just leveling out. It yeah, was, man. It was actually after. But if you do cocaine, co- cocaine, cocaine, if you do cocaine that's on Hawaiian Thanksgiving, cocaine. <laughs> it's cocaine. It's made out of coconuts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's dry coconut. Yeah, it's and a you little shred little bit it. Of yeah, yeah. And each oh, uh, oh, off a of fucking sandwich back. How crazy. Yeah. <laughs> How crazy that they were fucking doing cocaine I know. during Thanksgiving? How cr- yeah, thank you. Very bizarre. How what? crazy that my dad got hard. Yeah. Well, it's just like, at what point do you do it? True. Like, we'll be ready for dessert in five. And he's like, yeah. give me six. Give me six. My dad did not need six minutes. <laughs> yeah, give me six. I'm going to go fuck the lady. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you right at my grandma and said it. <laughs> I'm going to go fuck the lady. But people I couldn't, people that are doing cocaine have no filter. So I don't give a shit if there's a mom or a grandma. Correct. They, they I'm going to no fuck the lady. I'm going to take another slice of pie. Also, Thanksgiving couldn't be the worst. Because you're waiting for a turkey to cook for yeah. eight hours. Imagine yeah. being on drugs, staring at a turkey, like, cook. Yeah. You got a blowtorch on Yeah, it? yeah. How many siblings do you have? I have a ton. I have more uh, specials, more siblings. What do we got? No, no, Good. more specials. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, She's this casual flex. I fucking love I it's, great. it's great. It's crazy. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm rich. So it's my sis- two sisters <laughs> and a brother. Yeah. What car did you drive here? Which one? Yeah, I'm very... which one? No, of I'm course, joking. which one? Bird oh, scooter, really lime scooter. <laughs> no, I, I I drove the Ferrari. Today. No, you didn't. Yeah. So really? Cool. Yeah. You, I want so I want to pause this and see it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. What's I love it? Can I take a photo? Uh, like I'm driving it. But I don't huh? even have to turn it on. I don't want insurance. No, you can drive my insurance it. Insurance will spike up. But I just want to hold my hand. First on of all, it. stop. Both of you guys are very successful. Hey, come on and now. I, and yeah, I, and I know you guys. You know what I mean. I, what, game recognized game, that's, bro. And that's you guys, your guys' game is on point, bro. Thank you so much. I love Thank it. You, like, and I told you that. I told you that before we were even yeah, friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. You spit on your hand and then slap me. And you said one day those will be worth it. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what yeah, it means, yeah, yeah. But one day I go run with this. No, you're a guy. Who's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're a guy who's so humble. I, it, did you have a cocky phase? Did you have like no. a, really? No, because I just yeah. knew early that like, it's like. I also think stand up training. You know, you okay. Not to be I'm going to tell you yes. the honest truth. You ready? Like stand up, stand up is a you know it's cutthroat, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, my come up, I went through. You know, when I started in 89, there was no internet. There was no, there was barely cable. So what did you do with crowd work? 
No, I did. Joe, what did you do with the crowd work? You didn't put on reels? You just had to live in the room? What the exactly. fuck's happening? This so getting, word, of my, word of mouth. Sending a videotape to comedy oh, clubs wow. is how you had to get on stage. Like, the Laugh Factory, I had to make a videotape and pay to get in. Was that your first There LA was a club? security guard named Woods that used to work there, and he mm -hmm. wouldn't let any comics in. And all I needed to do was give my videotape so they could watch it and let me on the show. Like, that's how, they, that's how it was back then. And, like, way back in the day, you couldn't get into, like the improv or, or or anything like like on the road you couldn't get on that yeah. you had to get yeah. like a a tonight show set and then submit it you know that what was mean? going and, viral was getting on the tonight show yeah but you're talking about internet there was no internet when i started in 89 right but like if people saw you on the tonight show on tv they'd be like yeah oh well, i got what you're saying you know? yes yeah. that you would was... blow the fuck up if you got the tonight show uh and how but, many times have you done it twice a little low. But the one, yeah, but the one, the one is what set my career through the oh, roof. Oh, really? Oh, I quit everything after I, I got a standing ovation. So that, 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 I just wanted to do that because you said a little low. And I wanted to, you know, <laughs> of course. Then I got a standing ovation. Yeah, but they had a, they had a sign in the back that goes stand. No. No. No, no, not did, at all. Did they say laugh? No, 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 no. Did it say this guy's going to do 47 arenas in one uh, month next week? <laughs> no, no. I was working at North Iraq, by the way. And I, but the standing ovation, and then and literally my, my career took off. Like, I got a phone call the next day, got on a tour, I got a commercial. See, that's what I wow. feel like it was. It was like that happens, and then life changed, and you get a phone call. But I feel it didn't, like it didn't happen from happening. there. It did. It was more than, like, like what, what I was getting at is um, when I had to come up, um, like, even black comedy wasn't like, like uh, heavily promoted, like when your was black Def comedy Jam? was like Def Jam was taken off the air in like ninety. I can't remember what year, but but when it was taken off the air, they were going on tour. They did Def Jam tour, right? Yeah. And even casinos in Vegas wouldn't even book them. Really? Yeah, because oh, black yeah? comedy was. Yeah, I'm telling you, bro, it was a different time. It was very very racist back then. Huh. You know what I mean? Like the weekends were considered the white nights. You know what I mean? And like, wow. and then like the mid, the midweeks, like the shitty, the shitty nights where no one comes would, you would get your theme nights and that would be your ethnic shows. Like Fat Tuesdays would be on Tuesday. Mo Better Mondays would be yeah. Monday. Uh, Asian Invasion would be on Thursday. And it was just so like indirectly racist. Not yeah. actually very racist, right. but like it was, it was, I can't even explain how it was put on, but it was like, the the venues wouldn't want to take it uh, invest yeah. in other other ethnicities what about, because the names yeah. work so well. They crush. Fat Tuesdays is the number. Yeah. No one has more. No, there there are no. You can look at the the. There's the not a list. lot of good rhymes with Saturdays. But what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Fat Tuesdays. No one made more celeb more star more a listing fucking comedy stars uh -huh. than that that show yeah none and you can run through the whole list and you'd be like holy shit and, and you got to remember they weren't allowed on the weekend shows d d so like a chris tucker and uh yeah, and a steve harvey yeah. and a cedric the entertainer and bernie mac they they weren't on the weekend show special delivery you just can't oh, look him in the eye. That's God, the only this thing. Is amazing. Dude, I love you, man. Is, is, that, is that right? It's Thank dry? Thank you so much. Yes, that, this is perfect. That, that's how it works? Yeah, Thanks. man. Fucking plastic straw. Come back here, you motherfucker. No, I'm You don't care about the turtles. <laughs> so it was a different time. You know what I mean? Like, just imagine that. Bernie Mac, not on a weekend show because he was talking about black things uh -huh. you know what i mean or it, it was it was a it was a weird Dude, I time i still watch his def jam set probably i'm not shitting you probably Dude, once two months man he's a genius <clears throat> but just a minute you get what i'm saying yeah to, to really put yourself in that like really cedric was playing on a tuesday god damn today's episode is brought to you by factor factor meals okay it's just me here today because michael didn't eat what an idiot he's dead he's alive but he's not here i i literally had a factor before coming here it was a cheesy bacon cheddar like bowl and then out of side of green. I fucking I love them. I there's such they they just get it. And here's a little bit of tea. Another company sent me meal preps and it's fucking trash. I would the audacity for them to even try and compete. It, I, here's the thing. They send it to you weekly and you pick however many you want in the box and then you microwave it. You don't even have to freeze it. You put it in the fridge and you microwave it for two minutes. And then you're just good to go. And you're getting carbs, protein, veggies. And it just, it, I honestly feel better eating these. I, you know, every time I see a frozen meal and I see it all crystalled out, I'm like, this is, this is gross. But it's so convenient. They have an app. I select what foods that I want. You can pick however many of whatever. And there's like add-ons. You can do like protein shakes, breakfast. Uh, I mean, dude, it's really just a genuinely good company. And they ship it to your door. 
to your door. If you're busy like me, you need Factor. Even if you're not busy, cooking's dumb, dude. So listen, this September, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess. Head to factormeals.com slash socks50 and use code socks50 to get 50% off. That's code socks50 at factormeals.com slash socks50 to get 50% off. God damn. What mm-hmm. about the road though? Was the road very similar to that as well? Or was it very like Dude, the road was dying. It was, you know, not like it is now. Like there's oh, a resurgence, but but back right. then it was dying because Comedy Central and HBO and all they were putting out these specials, so no one was going out. Oh, so, so it's all the comedy clubs lives. were dying. They're all like closing shop. And it was it was hard to get work back then. Yeah, so, I, I remember listening to Louie on some podcast saying like the early 80s was the the comedy prime. boom, like early 80s. That right? was the prime. boom. He said he was like going around like, I think he was like on a motorcycle, whatever, but he said like money was literally coming out of his pockets doing spots. Literally. Like, around, and you, then, know, you know, uh, can I interrupt on no, that please, one? Please. Because even more so than that, if yeah. you were a female comic in the 80s, you were making millions. Really? Oh, yeah. That, I, the I, and by the way, this is only what I've heard through other <laughs> comics yeah. from that generation. You know what I mean? But they would say because... There was such a shortage of female comics yeah. that they were getting all the spots. You know what I mean, and, and rightfully so. You know what right. I mean. You you want to have a, a diverse lineup, and and so the female comics were getting a ton of shows back then. Wow, back then, then, yeah. And then Louis said, like in the round, probably like around, like honestly, eighty eight, eighty nine. I think 90s, Comedy Central nineties. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. the minute Comedy Central came out, it just shut everything down. And it was so funny because I started in eighty nine, right? Oh, and man. I was doing all these clubs in in Vegas, and I met this comic, and uh, his name was Jack Jack Rikus, and he goes, he goes, uh, he goes, uh, you just missed it, kid. That's what he Damn. said to me. Oh, no. yeah, yeah. Because he was already kind of like retired. He was already like yeah, yeah, yeah. settling down. He was already in his fifties. Damn. And he was like, "You just missed it, kid." He goes, "You're funny, but you just missed it." He goes, do "Like you, they're all you, closing down." Do you like, still have his literally. contact? I you just so. FaceTime him from the T-Mobile arena. I, know, <laughs> I missed I it. No, no, he was a great guy. Yeah, no, he was a great guy. Man. But I'm just saying, he was telling me. No, he was being real, and yeah. he, and he was being honest. Like it was really closed down, and but it's all waves, right? Yeah, it came back. It was a long gap. I mean, though, there was bro. an era where yeah. Vine was the biggest thing. And then it, towards the end, a lot of people were getting on. It kind of yeah. died out. Then you're like, what do we do? What do we do? All of a sudden, yeah. you got TikTok. It's, when, it's yeah. always kind of. I hate. Like, I hate being the old guy and telling you guys like how how blessed you are, right? And mm-hmm. it's great because you, you still have to work. Like you, yeah, you guys dude, still but, crush it. You guys yeah. still we, put we in your be, time. We need to be armed with that information so we don't like repeat. Yeah. Like, other people's not failures, but other people's like issues that they had along the way when yeah. the thing was dry. Because it because it will it will it will add a boom. It will. But it I will watch you guys point. though. Like there's a difference. There's a difference from doing like blowing up on. Uh, uh, you know, you guys blow up on. I don't even what, what I say. Social media is that the stupid? Uh, you yeah, blew up no, on. Yeah. Instagram, I don't know what you blew up on, but you blew up. Yeah, but, what, yeah, yeah. but what I love about you guys is you still doing the grind. Like I see Trevor go in on a Tuesday. I see you go in on a Tuesday and and just eat your dick on stage and, 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 <laughs> and, and earn your stripes. I seen you fucking. <laughs> but like, no, I love that because you're, 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 you, 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 yes. It's the gym. That's yeah, the yeah. fucking gym. And yeah. there's other guys that have blown up and are trying to take this route and they just want to go to the theaters. Yeah. And it's like, bro, you the 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 audience is very honest, man. They'll yeah. let you know yeah. you're you're one and done. They'll let yeah. you know. But so it's we, like we get ready. Out. We lucked out because we did we did stand up for years prior to getting any type of social media stuff before anyone gave a fuck about coming yeah. to. So so we we bombed so much before anyone yeah. gave a fuck. So that's like ingrained in us to yeah. be funny first and yeah. then everything else. But what I'm saying is your fame is taking you to like this other level right so like your chops you you want to make sure that your chops match the level of your fame and yes. you guys are doing that yeah, oh correct get what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. like you can blow up and be like yo i've been doing stand-up for seven years it's like okay but can you still live up Maintain. to the fucking yes. hype of trevor yeah. you know what i mean and you and you're doing that you're going up and you're i, I watch you well, guys not man. getting comfortable you know because mm-hmm. also it's like i got the first special coming out and then you got to burn that hour. And yeah. Log like, it. Ba- November, but there then, but then you're, you're back in it. Yeah. You know. Can I? But it's almost fun again. I love it. Can I ask you a, a quick? Because obviously you put out so many specials, and Seven. we're we're about, <laughs> I think more. We're yeah. he, his is coming out in November. Mine's coming out probably two three months after that. But my question to you is, I I am 
personally so fearful because it's like that hour, hour and ten, whatever it's going to be, it's gone. Yeah, and honestly, good. we have a lot of stuff in reserve. It, it is a good feeling to get it off, yeah. off your chest. Yeah. But like, what's your process once you're like, all right, that's done, that's filmed. So when it's when it's, I'm writing now. Right, so, so I yeah, have yeah, my yes, hour yes, yes. now, which I shoot in November, and I'm already writing for my That's second my question. Okay. special mm. after. So and I sneak them in in between. I'll yeah, just keep up. putting stuff in between. But I already have my hour for November. That's easy. Okay, this is so good. I just keep. Yes, I'll, I'll go over it and do it. But like I'll always sneak stuff in between and of course and work on the. the so next even when, one. even when you're trying to figure out like the flow of what you're gonna yeah. film, you still try to get in some stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what do you do? And, you... and when I film, I'm still gonna go long and and just treat it like a club. So I'll always go long. Okay. And you still you still sneak in the stuff that in your head you're like this is probably not gonna make it, but let me just do it because I'm I'm working on it. Yeah, I'll still do you're, it. Damn, you're, you're working on two muscles right there. Yeah, yeah. Like, I love this. Oh, yeah. that's very smart. Okay. Mm. So what do you do when the, the you should let me direct, please? I'm so fucking good, you guys. Dude, yeah, you've done like, 160 I'm really, of them. I'm really good at directing specials. God man. damn it! I'm not even joking, <laughs> what, man. What, what I'm sure you, you, you let me in. Edits. You let me in, and I will. I will fucking knock your. Because I'm looking at the edits right now, and they're like, we need to shave seven minutes off. Put me in the editing bay. I'm a motherfucker, bro. All right, bring it in. <laughs> I'm not even joking. This look, next look, podcast segment is Joe Edits My Special. Hey, hey, hey. Let, I'm just, this is something I've been telling people, but I learned yeah. it from rappers, right? Like rappers will, they don't wait for anyone to say that they're good, right? Listen yeah. to a, a rap song. They will fucking tell you, I'm they the also shit. also fuck my girl. Yeah, yeah. And I'll fuck your girl. They say that a and lot. And I'm also... <laughs> Better than you, yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. 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 They'll also say I'm God. Like the, it's yeah. like they have the yeah. zero fucks. Yeah. You're from Milwaukee. You think God's from Milwaukee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Love Milwaukee. They are gods. But but here's the thing. Like that mentality is just like, like, like if you're gonna wait for a compliment, you're gonna be waiting a long time. You Not really me are. Personally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but what I'm saying is, somebody please come up. <laughs> What I'm you're saying hot and funny, is, dude, you're hot and funny. I'm not waiting for compliments anymore. Correct. Like yeah. it's like I know I'm good at this, and I'm, I, 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 my last four, I've, I cut and edited myself. Interesting. Oh yeah, uh, I, I I go in I, and well, do yeah. I do second, third, fourth edit. edit I, that's and, what I'm going through right now. I bro, drove up to the dude's house all weekend. I was cutting away with him. It's yours. Yes. yes. And don't fucking let anyone touch your shit. That's what. And that's and what that's I'm where I on. fucked up on my first one. Really? What, yes. So so what was the fuck up? You you're two hands off. Great great director. I'm not going to say his name, but um. But it just didn't come out right. And and yeah. the thing is, is I trusted everything with him. Uh -huh. And then the second one is when I was like, I need to get in. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and I and I and I still didn't know how to edit, but I knew I had an eye. Um and then the the third one is when I had to pay for it myself, right? It's when I shot live from Seattle, like Netflix, I shot it, right? I yeah. paid for it and everything. Uh and then I sold it to Netflix. And then, um, and that's when I was just like, I, I have to do this myself. And I, I've yeah. never took a class. I never learned, but I yeah. just studied. Uh, Michelle Caputo and Shannon, like my my two uh, my 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 director, and my producer, right? And I've been with them ever since. The first thing they said to me is like, watch specials, not for the content. Just turn it off, like turn the volume off, and just watch it visually. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what I did. And just so you can kind of really notice on all the camera cuts and the angles. Camera and cuts, yeah. And How many cameras that that are, that are in the room? Which specials were your favorite? Then, then I would listen to audio, and not for the jokes. Listen to the audio. And the first thing I oh, I love telling this story. This one gives me chills, right? Yeah. So I'm watching all these specials, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? Like, I was getting mad. Like, I can't hear the audience. You know what I mean? Like, on yours or other? No, ones? other. I was watching others. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what? Why? Why can't I hear the audience? Like, it, did they turn it down? Like, I'm making all these notes. <clears throat> then I got to Dana Carvey, right? I got to Dana Carvey's. Never seen a special before. Love Dana Carvey. I'm in love yeah, with him. Awesome. I'm watching it, and I'm like, holy shit! The audio. Like, not only can I hear him crisp, but I can hear the person laughing in the back of the room like yeah. why is that so then i tell michelle i go you have to listen to dana's because this is exactly how i want it to sound i do not want it and i gave her the list of all the the comics specials that it just sounded horrible yeah. i go it, these i don't know what's going on but it cannot sound like this yeah i need it to sound like this it sounds like it's live like we're in correct like i'm sitting yeah. in the in the venue with yeah, yeah, dana yeah. so she goes oh yeah 
we just need to buy more mics. I'm like, what? She goes, That's just it. more boom mics. So I bought live from Seattle. Like people always go like, like, oh, are those laugh tracks? Like, no, motherfucker. I put microphones. There's two balconies. I had microphones in the second balcony. Yeah, I, might I had microphones in the first balcony. Mine, yeah. I put microphones all the way into the back. Like, mm -hmm. and every comic I know that's shooting a special, I go, mic your room. Yeah. Don't trust the two booms facing the crowd from the the stage. Go yeah. to the back, mic that. Go upstairs, yeah, mic that. I think mic we did everything. Three sets: stage, yep. center, and then oh, top. Great. Yes. That was a but that was a note that I got from. I forget it was either. I think you, it was me. Yeah, I believe so. No, I'm Which, not even joking. I could. No, I remember I talking to you. You told me audio is the most important. I did, and it was Wait. backstage because you told me you were shooting your special, and I go, I told Correct. you about audio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't. But these are the things. I that know it's like, it was me. You better give my goddamn credit. 100. It was I Joe tell Coy at the Laugh Factory on a Tuesday after I bombed. I tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I tell everyone because it's so important. And okay, let me finish the story. And I know please, it's long winded. Please. So I'm doing Dana Carvey and David's uh, pod, right? Fly on the wall, yeah. And, and I just, you know, he's complimenting my, my special the form and that his son's watching it, blah, blah, blah. And I go, I go, Dan, I have to tell you this right now, but it's your special that taught me that's so cool. the wow. sound. And he goes, oh, that's crazy. And I go, yeah. I go, I go, I listen to your special. I listened to so many specials and I, I didn't like the sound. And then I watched yours and I couldn't fucking believe it. I went to the sound guy. I, I went to my producer and they said, just get more mics. And we got an audio guy that mic the room and it's all because of you. And he goes, yeah. He goes, would you believe this? When I went in and did my run, right? He did like a test run or whatever. He went to uh, Video Village and he listened to it. He goes, I can't hear the audience. He literally said that in, in the interview. And he goes, he goes, wow. I need more mics. And he put more mics in the damn room. Yeah. So like it, it really was a thing. Like I was witnessing something that he really, it, it really happened. Yeah. Like, so he was ahead of his, is it might make any sense. No, like, yeah. first, all, okay. the, all the, the specials that were made during his time, the audio is bad. That day he did his, he did his run through, didn't like the sound and told his sound guy to put more mics in the room. Like that, it was Dana's genius. Mm -hmm. And I, and I saw it firsthand and, and, and I knew like, it needs to be like that. And yeah. so I, I let him know, like you set the blueprint, bro. Like, well, yeah. that's what the, in the simplest version of this is when you go to the Irvine improv, yeah. it's a comedy club. I don't know if you still do those. Yeah. Yeah. But I saw, well, my plaque's like on the 38 door. of them in what? Four days. <laughs> that, is that the record? Was it Irvine you, or break? Uh, it's 103 sold out, but it's, um, <laughs> 103 you, you sold, sold out 103 consecutive. Tickets? Yeah. Hold on, hold, on, hold on. Did you say consecutively? Yeah, it was is consecutive. It, yeah. Is it Brea or Irvine? Sorry to point. Can I say both? Am I allowed to? You can say both? But but yeah. dude, you're the king of the IE. Yeah. When Joe Coy's in town, the mayor was like, whatever you need. Yeah, it was crazy. Here's my Ferrari. Those were crazy times, the Irvine Improvs and Bray Improvs. Because I would do it back to back. He's in Irvine this weekend. It's a phenomenal it's club. So yeah. Cool. Irvine Improvs. Beautiful. And by the staff and, and Mikey yeah. and awesome. all those guys, yeah, yeah. the management. Prime, but I remember going there before I started filming my own stuff, and they're like, "We film your sets." I'm like, "Hell yeah!" yeah. I don't even need this on my camera. And you get it back, but it's only mic to yeah. two of the mic that you're talking yeah. in. Yeah. So every joke sounds like you're bombing. Yeah, bro. And then you post a clip, you're just standing there. There's laughter, but they can't really hear. It, so you, you just, can't hear it. Yep. So when I got a cut back of the special, the audio wasn't mixed yet. I was like, "No, yeah. th these were good shows. What is this? Like, yeah. it's not mixed yet. This is one mic, and it's your mic." I go. Thank God. Then you hear I'm going to give mix? you a trick on Irvine's. You ready? Uh, all, all the improvs because mm -hmm. they do do that because their their cameras are good. Yeah, they are, they are so great. just get the DAT recorder. Have you, do you have it? You just plug it into the the board. No, you or, can just put it on stage. Ah, you put it right in front of you. I've and done face that. The audience. Yeah, you do that, or just even the phone audio, and then you just think. I would two. use the DAT. It sounds so crisp and oh, beautiful. But yeah, now I got a whole rig and everything and and, and lava. Up, but yeah. um, but I remember so excited to get it, and then you're like, I'm bombing <laughs> yeah. because it's only my domain. It's so me. bad. It's so funny to do yeah. a joke and then just go. It's so bad, right? Yeah, I've but seen I've seen people post clips like that when they I just know. have the board I audio know. It's brutal. and you're like, bro, this is not even you're a not, bad you're not joke. Doing yourself but you're just, justice. Yeah. Bro, but I've seen specials like that. Yeah. We I've all seen have. recent specials. And I'm like just that. like, are you kidding me? Yeah. But it's all placebo effect. I don't know if that's the right word, it's a big word for me to use. But it's like if the if you can't hear the audience really giving it up, you're like, ah, maybe this guy's not crushing no at all but the la you know the louder and bigger the laughs the more you're like dude this guy's fucking crushing i'm gonna keep watching but if it's like ah, ah. yeah yeah that's why literally laugh tracks were invented for sitcoms it's like this is hey audience this is where we're cueing you to be like this is a good joke yeah, so, yeah. Laugh so funny yeah man god damn fall ball is upon us and you need to be in the festive spirit light a candle get some pumpkin spice and make sure your balls look nice 
What is this, a Trevor Wallace video? We're talking Manscaped, bitch. So go to manscaped.com and use promo code STIFF for 20% off plus free shipping. Well, you're like, okay, fall is here. What should we do? Fall off the leaves? No, fall off the pubes. Trim them up. And here's the thing, man. I'm a chaotic guy. I'm always hopped up off energy. I don't trust razor blades by my dick. But the advanced skin safe technology reduces nicks and cuts. It makes raking the leaves a lot less painful. I don't, there's no pain. Dude, they have different like levels on it so you can see what type of fade you want on your cock. Right now, I'm rocking a mullet. So, <laughs> but dude, it, it's honestly, first of all, I've charged it once in my entire life. It has literally, it's has more battery life than eight days of menorah Hanukkah candles. Uh, it's waterproof. Hello. Put that in the fucking Atlantic. And um, it's sleek. It looks sexy. Dude, here's the thing. You put that bitch up in your in your bathroom. Girls are like, oh, this boy Manscapes. Like, it, like, they're so popular. Manscaped is just the term. Like, you don't understand how that's how good they are. Manscaped, that's them. So, look, they, they literally have everything you could ever imagine. They got body wash, shampoo, conditioner, boxers. They also have like ball deodorant and, and crop preserver ball spray. Dude, it's sweaty out there, okay? Get a little wipe, wipe. Fresh balls, dude. Well, you want to have sex with sweaty balls? No. You want to get the other call. Call. She's going to call you back because you have good balls. You know what the fuck I'm saying. So, bring the fall right and get 20% off anything plus free shipping with code stiff at manscaped.com i don't think you're hearing me that's 20 percent off with free shipping at manscaped and use promo code stiff as the leaves fall make sure you have it all with manscaped god damn so when did you know that things were like oh i'm fucking joe coy because uh, uh, before you said like you're like i'm trying i'm putting this out i'm getting some momentum but like when was the jump up from theaters to arenas when was like it was, was it crazy was man the specials there was times where I just wanted to like quit. I'm not even really? joking. Oh man, it was so because you got to remember, I have my peer group. My class yeah, who, is pretty yeah, insane, in class? bro. It's massive. Who, you know, who, who are some of the guys in the class that you're still like really close with? I'll just years? tell you too. It's, yeah, it's yeah. Kevin and Gabe and I used to do shows together. Wow. You know, we used to do these Fuck. radio shows together, and it's so cool. Oh, we've had we had like crazy like talking shit backstage and blah blah yeah. blah, and then next you know they all, you know, Gabe. Gabe took off first before really? Kev. Oh yeah, Gabe was like, I remember when Gabe Gabe had two Hummers with Nintendos in the back, and I was just like, and I'm still handing out flyers at the Laugh Factory. <laughs> like what the fuck? And I remember Gabe asking, and I'm listen. Gabe also he still says this to me to this day, but um, he he offered to take me on the road because Gabe don't give a fuck too. Gabe will put anybody in front of him. Gabe's a beast, mm. you know yeah, what I mean? He's and awesome. he's so loving. And uh, and and I remember. Not going, and the reason why I didn't want to go with him is one, I had a son, you know what I mean, and uh, and two, I wanted to do it on my own, man. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a you lot of people I mean? that open for bigger names, and they go like, "I've hit my threshold. I need to do this on my own now. Yeah. I want to be my own entity." And that was the only reason why. And uh, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be a feature, even though I wanted to so bad because he was, ma he's, he's still massive. You know what I mean? Dodger Stadium, he's, he's, he's incredible, but um. But I just knew I could do it on my own, you yeah. know? And uh, so, yeah, it was just like seeing Kev blow up and seeing Gabe take off. And you know what I mean? So what was the order? Was it, were you, was Kev before you or after you? Uh, Gabe, who, I'm just Kev, saying like when, Kev when came when before me too. Kev just took off. Yeah. And there was a time where we were both like neck and neck at the clubs. Right. You know what it's I mean? It's got to be an interesting feeling when you're It was crazy because I was on, killing on. Kev at the clubs. You know really? what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Killing him. Yeah. I was like multiple weekends. I was doing all kinds of shit. You know what I mean? And then just boom. I'm not even joking, man. Yeah. It was like a light switch. Yeah. And I remember he was gone from the clubs and, uh, I still remember the last club I saw him because I was there the week before and I had to fly in a day early and he yeah. was there. Hang on. And uh, yeah, so we were in the green room and it just, I could already tell that we're about to lose. I'm about to lose Kev. Oh, wow. you know, it's an interesting wow. feeling when you see somebody start bubbling like that. They're just everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. everywhere and then poof. Yeah. And just what, take uh, off. What club was that you saw him at? It was the uh, Fort, what is it called? The Palm, Palm Springs uh, Improv. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Is that still yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, it's massive. It's weirdly, oh, it's West, weirdly no, massive. The West, the West Palm one, right? So you West Palm. Five, West Palm. Is that what it's called? West, West Palm. Palm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I, I say Palm, Palm Springs? Yeah, Palm Springs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an idiot. West Palm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I play arenas now, so I don't, <laughs> like I don't, I don't remember well, the city. Let's be real. You do all the city. You do cities now. Like you, just the whole town is there. You did Rhode Island. You called CAA and go, hey, guess what? Massachusetts. I know it's nuts. 
So you ever see the banners or uh, <laughs> uh, where Michael Jordan, the six banners, Michael Jordan? Yeah. 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 So you got three of those in your Ferrari? No, it was just cool. Like when I told them to put their lights on the fans and seeing the guys right by those banners put their lights on so yeah. I could take the picture was, I, I was like, there's people up there watching me too. That's it was also that crazy. I did that for the first time. I had everybody do their, their, yeah, people are watching from helicopters. Yeah, it's so crazy. No, I, I, that the uh, awesome special. I've never done this just because of the momentum you got. It, it's like I had everybody put their phones with the flashlight on. Yeah. It's such a cool it's so, look. Dude, that picture amazing, is so right? cool, man. It's the coolest, but like I've never wanted to do that because I just feel You're so You're welcome, like, you guys. That's me too. No, it was it? Like, but like, it's such a, like, like, I'm the first one to do that. I don't know. I feel like as far me, as comic, I'd rather just get you're like Soldier Boy, but a look fucking comic. You're the Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy comedian. Right. You're the first comedian with the Ferrari. Yes. Good. You, first comedian to drink I, coffee. I, you know I'm having fun, right? No, of, of course, of course, I'm of course. Fun. I'm just yeah. It, when you made us valet your car when there is a valet guy here, that was a little weird. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah, I'm just happy to, to drive though. it. So, but what what is your money go to? What what's your 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 thing that you like? You're out the road. You're not on the road. You're home. You're like, are you? What do you collect? Business baseball cards? Is it watches? Is it cars? What is? Yeah, your, it, it is. It, I will say watches and cars are my favorite. But I never like tell people about it. I don't unless you ask because they're too yeah, poor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But so but I, mean, I but, 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 Rolexes but, and yeah, I love course. cars and and that, and those are my two vices vices and yeah, I don't yeah. do drugs I don't you know what I mean I don't really like to drink I I, I to be honest I don't you drink at all though, bro <laughs> you're so dumb <laughs> <laughs> but, but um those are my only vices can we I, and I, I buy houses I buy a lot of houses how many I have but I mean I have a lot They're I have investments, a lot though yeah so I have a lot of like investments. <clears throat> So I have like, I think, uh, uh, like, not that many, it's 11, 11. <laughs> how, do you have, how do you have more houses than specials? I think, I think you it's 11. You have more houses 11. than capitals in the U.S. I think yeah. that's wrong. Don't do math on that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's there's 12 capitals. You've never stayed at a 13, hotel. 13. Come on. Like, you're so close that you could just be like, oh, we're in Houston, got a house here. No, no, yeah. no. I buy them all. I, I, buy, I buy here and I, I buy Vegas. Interesting. Yeah. Great property value And I'm Vegas? telling everyone right now, I'll look right in the camera. Yes. Okay, don't hate on me. Just invest in Vegas Just get your and do it right up. now. And I'll tell you why. And I and I said this the minute and I and I knew I knew the Raiders were coming, right? Yeah. And yeah. I told everybody. I told Raider my fans sister don't and everyone. Money though. Bro, any city. Take that back. Take that back. back. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Raiders, I love you. Las Vegas, I'll be there someday. I don't know. So, oh, do you say Raiders? I have any money? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take it You're back. So oh, yeah, quick, quick. <laughs> You're so dumb. I um. Uh, but I knew any city that brings a professional team, it's like, yeah. Yeah, bye. So I, right when I found out that Vegas was going to have a uh, rate, I told my sister, I was like, we need to buy a house now. We have to, because there's a team coming. And then she didn't like, believe Joe, me. It's four in the morning. What oh, drugs are you yeah, on? Yeah. We need houses. <laughs> yeah. My sister gets so mad when I want to buy something. And then, <laughs> so I bought the house mm -hmm. against her. You know what I mean? I was like, I'm buying it no matter what. And then thank God I did. Cause it just took off. Yeah. Cause really? the minute, oh my God, well, bro. Dude, it's about to take off Double. again because bro, NBA is going to no, move No, 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 no. You're already skipping something. I'm skipping something And I already? told everybody, and this is why I started, this is why I started loading up on houses in, in Vegas. The minute they, there was a rumor about a baseball team, I go, are you fucking kidding me? No. no. Because oh, basketball damn. is good, but baseball is better than football when it comes to like your city population. Like your really? city. Uh, are you kidding well, me? There's also 148 every, games a week. There, yeah, right. Not only that, but every team comes to your town, and these people. These people travel. So when yeah, the Cubs yeah. come, when the Yankees come, we're. You it know, it's crazy that they don't have baseball there already. It, well, it well, had something to do with the gaming. Anything. So, like, they, they, yeah. there was this really strict guideline that professional sports and gambling, and it's just, it's a scary situation. It's sticky. Yeah. But with the a UFC being there now and, huh. and showing that it is possible for you not to, you're a dick. What'd you say? Nothing. There's a lot of sticky stuff in Vegas. Yeah, a lot of sticky you stuff. Know, a, lot of, a, lot of, made a, lot a lot of socks. A lot of socks. A lot of socks. Socks stuck to the ceiling. Socks. 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 That's it. We're getting on Shark Tank right now. You know Mark Cuban. Call him. Let's. <laughs> Marcus, yeah, yeah. Like, I, Joe, told you, you, I told you, I told you he make you. Yeah, I told you he make Joe, me call. Joe, no more houses. You yeah, gotta yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's got to be fun because it's almost like yeah. it's this long term play where you get to focus on your career and you do everything. But then you're like, How, how's the market doing? How's I'm it? telling you right now, take all your money out of the banks and just buy houses. Good. I'm in. All right. I'm not Tarzana, even joking. Trevor. We're going big after today. Go to Vegas. Okay. And buy I'm, you think I'm fucking with no, you, man? No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm I don't. telling you right I know, now. I know. And I'm not going to say it again Here's because what, once that they're already breaking ground right now on Tropicana and uh, I think it's Flamingo. Shoes? Tropicana and 
I don't know, Las Vegas Boulevard. Las Vegas Boulevard and Tropicana, they're knocking down the Tropicana Hotel and they're putting the uh, the baseball stadium there. Do they there. still have the Hooters Hotel? That's getting knocked down. What? Damn it. They're God building a it. baseball. No. <laughs> no, I can't. It's called Hooters Arena. Okay. Is it really? No, it's not. You're an idiot. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> I was bought, so excited. <laughs> I almost bought just front row tickets to everything. But no, I hear you. When I first moved to LA and the first guy I saw in a Ferrari was probably you. But when the first, first I go, what celebrity? You realize the richest people in the world, let alone Los Angeles, aren't celebrities. They all do real estate. Yeah, they man. all have oil money. It's all this random stuff. Yeah. The let your money work for you, bro. That let your money the, work. What is it? Passive income? I had to Google that before coming here today. Yeah, but I love that. That that's the long term play where you invest a little bit over here, then you get to go work on focus on your dream, but you're still yeah. making money over here. Yeah, man. What well, also that, that makes They're you all not rented, by the way. That's phenomenal. Correct. You don't. All of them. You don't have. When people hear you say you have eleven houses, they think that you just fly and stay at the different ones. Yeah. No. There's somebody has is staying in your house and they have no idea that you're attached to it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Somebody's like, oh, it's a nice house. Yeah. Joe Coy owns it. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. It's not like you have eleven houses just to fuck off and go to. It's like you probably live at one or five or seven, and then the other four yeah. you rent out. Yeah. To like a cat or a dog or something. So I have one cat that lives really? in the house. Okay. Good. That's I have a cat. Awesome. Can he yeah. visit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So you, how many kids? You have one? I have the one. One. And he's son. the greatest, man. I see him. He travels all. Which, yeah. How he's, old is he? he's amazing. He's 20. Dude, that's got to be he's 20. Does he want to do stand-up or does he do stand-up? I don't. Here's the thing. I have a nephew that wants to do stand-up and I love uh, it. How do you feel about that? He yeah. drives out here and, he, you know, and but what I love is that he doesn't tell anybody that Okay, that's good. he's related that's to me and yeah, he's, yeah. he's 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 really bombing and I love watching good. him bomb and 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 okay, taking that, it yeah taking his licks and then and then going back and i appreciate that so much i put him on stage one time i did a weekend at the irvine improv it was yep. like six years ago and um and i and i let him do the weekend right because i told him we were in hawaii and i dared him i he goes i want to be a, a comic uncle joe i go don't tell me go do it Damn, and we were that's swimming great, that's great advice and we were swimming and then uh and i i called this uh bar and they Oh no, there somebody told me there was an open mic. In Hawaii? In Hawaii. And they told me the name of the bar. And I looked at my nephew. I go, Do you want to be a comic? And oh he goes, shit. He goes, Oh yeah, Uncle Joe. I go, there's an open mic. And this is one of the most oh, cutest shit. moments. Cause I fly all my nieces and nephews. So six years ago, they were all like, my son was like, you know, 14 and you know, 14, 13. So they're all kids, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And then he was like 19 or whatever, 18. I forget how old he was back then. And then um and we're all at the beach and I go, there's an open mic. You want to go up? It's at a bar. Sorry, and he goes, so cool. and he goes, all right. And all the kids are like, yeah, they were like all happy, like, <laughs> like genuinely yeah. like excited. And we all load, I'm getting chills talking about, this and we so all cool. loaded up the three and we drove in our shorts and we drove to this bar and I knew, I knew like they weren't going to let us in, but you know, I'm Joe Coy. And, um, so I you looked at the I looked at the security guard. I go, look, they'll sit next to me. Just let my nephew go up on stage and and do a set. You know what I mean? And they yeah. they let us in. So, you know what I mean? How so much time cool. did he do? All these kids inside of a bar. It uh, was the greatest. So shit. Best cool. case scenario, honestly. Yeah, and he went up. He he fucking ate it, oh, and um and he got off stage. I hugged him. We yeah. all. He started crying. No, <laughs> yeah, cool it was moment. so great. It was just oh, I can't believe I did that, Uncle Joe. And that's then uh, cool and, moment, I, and then that's when I go, look, I'm getting choked up. And then I go, you just earned yourself a weekend hey. at, the, at the improv. And then, and then when we flew back from Hawaii, I was at the improv and I put him up for the weekend. And of course, you know, they're sold out and, you know, he's going up, he's getting little chuckles and stuff. Yeah. And, and then I go, all right, now that's your taste. That's your taste of mm -hmm. the improv. You're not doing this with me ever again until you until you're like a legit feature. Right, yeah. Like yeah. I'm not putting you up because you're my nephew. Mm -hmm. I want you to earn your spot now. Awesome. And he's been doing it ever since, man. And it's crazy because uh, like I, I flew to Vegas uh, just just on a whim. I just, I wanted to go to Vegas, right? And I, and I, go, and I called my nephew. It's like a Wednesday night. I go, hey, what are you doing? Let's go get something to eat. He goes, oh, I'm about to go on stage. And that, and oh, that yeah. touched. Yes, That's awesome. And I was dude. like, what? Where are you? And, yeah. I, and I fucking... Drove there and it's just it was the cutest thing, man. He was at this oh, shitty awesome. fucking yeah. bar right by McCarran Airport. It's like he's doing it. three people and he's good. doing it. Yeah. God damn. Today's episode is brought to you by Ship Station. What is Ship Station? I will tell you, okay? It's the calm before the holiday season. It's gonna be here before you know it. I went to a CVS the other day. They're already plugging fucking Christmas. You got Buble playing, deck my halls. Who do I call? 
probably my ex. It holds everything together, everything shipping based, everything return based. It keeps it all in one. Dude, there is a reason over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce businesses with ShipStation. You know, we do merch here at Stiff Socks. We and, do. Um, we're, we're working on a drop. We're going to have some stuff soon. And doing it with ShipStation is incredible because mm -hmm. what it lets us do is it automates shipping and returns in their dashboard. Um, it basically lets us have an e-commerce business because we're doing a podcast, you know? So like if we also had to run a warehouse and try to figure out shipping and all that all ourselves yeah. would be impossible. So that's why ShipStation is so great. I mean, listen, there's so many advantages of it. You can quickly and easily update crucial order information or reduce errors. It also has effortless integrations with eBay, Etsy, Amazon, Shopify, and many more. Manage orders, print labels, compare rates, optimize every shipment, and automate delivery notifications. Did I leave anything out? No, because they got you covered. So set up your business for a successful holiday season with Ship station we got an offer for you if you go to shipstation.com and use promo code socks today and sign up you will get a free 60-day trial that is a free 60-day trial all you have to do is go to shipstation.com promo code socks make ship happen god damn are you seeing them getting getting incrementally better yeah yeah. yeah, it's gonna be a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I keep going over. You know, the most important part of stand up, uh, I, I tell all these guys, right, is uh, your voice. Yeah. yeah. Did you go through like, phases just find of your voice before you found who you were? Yeah, it took like, me so long, man. I think so many people start out and they kind of imitate their favorite comedians. It's like you know, yeah. you watch like a Burr special seven years ago, be like, I'm this angry guy on stage now. Yeah. But it's not. And you're not angry at all. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, yeah, lot, a lot of them but, aren't angry well, at I all anyway. Right here, and I was yeah, like, maybe, yeah. yeah. But, uh, but, yeah, but I was angry yeah, but that, like cotton but that, candy. It didn't make that, sense. But that's that's anyone, right? Yeah, yeah. That's in any genre, right? That's like, true. But, and that's fine. But it's just like you'll eventually find your voice. And then also the confidence. I always say this, and I hate saying this, but like I keep saying it. But like the time that I came up in, like I, like I said earlier, mm -hmm. the, the, the racist part of, you know, uh, the comedy uh, grind for me was, um, you know, the way, God, how do I say this? Like, if you watch TV back when I was a kid, it was very in-your-face racist. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like even the cartoons had guys with, you know, the their eyes are slanted, buck teeth, and ho, ho, ho. And, and, and that was funny. And kids are allowed to laugh. But it was programming people to look and view a certain go for the, the low certain, hanging fruit but not only that but it was just like it was okay and accepted and mm. it's just not only that but if you were asian you were like okay well i guess that's what i have to do oh, because you've been oh, programmed yeah. to believe Shit. so imagine being a kid being asian you got a black friend a latino friend and then you're watching a cartoon and then this oh no 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 no, no and it's bugs bunny talking to an asian guy yeah. and everyone's laughing and of course you're like yeah that, that is funny and you don't even know what the fuck you're laughing at but you're laughing at yourself and <sighs> and then you grow up and you fuck. think that's how it is and then you see your you know you see someone like mr miyagi who doesn't even speak fucking japanese and he's doing wax on and wax off and it's like here's a guy that's doing you know he he speaks english he's from california and he's yeah, yeah. He's, he's fucking sharing the stage with robin williams and yeah. richard Pryor. but for some reason hollywood said the only way you're going to make it is if you do this accent so, so like those were the times i had to cup in and i know i keep saying that but it's like so like i gotta you, let people know that when i started stand-up like finding my voice was extra hard because it's like, how do I talk about my mom? Like, how do I yeah. tell you my real genuine story without being scared that you guys are going to be like, we don't get it, kid. Cause that was always their say. That's what they would always say. Oh, we don't get it. Like, what is that? You're being too specific. Yeah. And it's like, Oh, so the Asian shit, you want me to do this. Right. So then you have to write this style. Yeah. And I would imagine that the cheaper low hanging fruit jokes that maybe were more racist, they would probably hit harder. So now you're battling this in your brain. You're like, I don't yeah, want to do it. You, right, you right. Go, this gets a big pop, but you're like, for what? Just What's like, okay, cost? so just like, like I didn't want to start talking about my mom, so I started doing like, here's like my earlier jokes, right? Like I would do, I would do like that style, but in a way I would make it look like it's you guys that are fucked up, but I'm doing the joke that you guys mm. want to hear because that's oh, the way I'm getting in the club. Okay, so I would do it. like, uh, you know, I'm half white, half Asian. Or, or, oh, oh I, 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 you know, this, is, in my Hollywood. Setup, sorry, this is, these are what I would say. I would, I would really, yeah, you're stupid. And I would go, I would go, I'm Asian. And I go, when you tell people you're Asian in Hollywood, they give you the worst compliments. Oh my God, you're Asian. I love orange chicken. Right. And I'm right. like, how do you expect me to act when you say that? Like, I, like they oh. think I'm going to go, oh, thank you. Yeah, orange yeah, chicken. Yeah. So I'm so doing it. I'm yes. doing the yes, bit, yes, 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 yes. but I'm saying you're a fucking idiot. Cause you think I'm going to be like, oh, thank you. That's oh, it's a yeah. chicken. Cause then you get to put your 
your own point of view on Now it. I get to say, you guys are fucking you idiots, know, but switch. I'm going to do you know, what you works. want me to say so I can get on The Tonight Show. That's genius. And that's the joke I did on The Tonight yeah. Show. That's so great because you're essentially taking the that and you're, you're putting it on them to make yeah. them look like... Well, you don't want to try to like reprogram them in, in well, a now, funny way. But well, see, that's why, out the obvious. that's why I try, like, like now, you know, and then it was a gradual thing. I had to keep, like, massaging it and figure out ways to be like... You know, uh, like I do this one joke, and this one's a true story. It's like my, my I hate doing jokes on a pod or radio, but I just want it. It's we'll for laugh. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, you don't have to because no, I already laugh. know. You do I already know. You do Zip my phone up. <laughs> but I, 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 I used to like like tell my, tell, there was a comic by the name of uh, Corey Holcomb who I love. I He's a monster. He's fucking dude. amazing. I used so to open for him. Really? And, uh, oh, yeah. I used awesome. to open for him. And uh, and the one thing he said is like, because uh, I would crush in front of him, right? Fucking destroy. And he would never compliment me, right? Damn. Yeah. He would That's never compliment hard, me. Like, and dad I, never gave you the oh, I would crush in front of Corey, bro. And he would just, uh, I remember we were driving home. We did this shitty gig in Palmdale. It was so far. It was a nightclub. And we were driving back and he goes, I go, I go, that set was crazy, man. I was crushing. He goes, yeah, 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 yeah. It was good. And he goes, <laughs> I go, what, what do I gotta do? Like, what yeah. do I like, what it like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, he goes, I don't know nothing about you. Oh, Tell me who you are. Wow. He goes, you're funny, you're funny motherfucker, but I don't know anything about you, who are you? That's awesome. and, and I swear to God, bro, when I got back to my, my apartment, I, I couldn't sleep, cause it, it fucking, who are you? It, wow. it made me that's like, so interesting. yeah, I dude, story, I was just though. like, what? And then that's where I that's where I wrote the orange chicken joke, and that's where I wrote, yeah. uh, "I'm half white, half Asian," which means my dad's in the military. Yeah. So now I'm telling you my story just for him. I did this for him. Yeah. So now you know my dad's in the military. So my Holcomb mom's Asian. Your biological father, <laughs> yes. in some sense. Yes. Do and you if it send wasn't him a Rolex Corey every year? Me, huh? <laughs> Do you send him a Rolex every year? I should. He deserves I, it. I, I talk about him all the time. I, yeah, I yeah. called him the other day, and I just that's I always thank story. him because he's fucking he's brilliant, bro. He's so funny. And then I go I. But that's where it comes from. I have white, half Asian. You know, my, my dad's in the military, and I and I did the Very joke. Uh, my dad, would, you know, my dad's indirectly racist because he, you know, my stepdad is who I was talking about. He's from West Virginia. He would give yeah. the worst compliments. He's like, you know, I married your mom, right? I'm like, why? Because I love Chinese food. She's Filipino. Rice is rice. Like all that shit yeah. is his. That's is that really my that uncle. That's really my stuff? my stepdad. He yeah. would always say rice is rice. So I I did that joke, and it's like. That all came from Corey Holcomb. Is that the and that was show that stuff? fucking night, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm a, sorry, what were you saying? I was gonna ask you, oh, those those jokes you just said, are those is that the Tonight Show? That Set-ish? one was my live from Seattle. I did that on Live from Seattle. And then okay. Orange Chicken I did on the Tonight Show. Because you were saying the Tonight Show was the was the thing that like you really felt that's where you my, hit the next level. Yeah. Right? That's I couldn't believe how many people were watching the Tonight Show. So I was working at Norse Rack shelving shoes, and it was like every other person was like Oh my God, you were so funny last night. Wow. You're like, tell my manager. I swear to God. That's so cool. That's so funny. You have this story. I have a story similar to this, and uh, not to go tit for tat here because it's not as cool. But when I first moved to LA, I was at Flappers Comedy Club. We all know it. It's in Burbank. And they did auditions, and they offered feedback at the end, right? Oh, so nice. I did three minutes. And I, and it was, I, so I was like, in my head, I go, three minutes, let me get as many jokes out as possible. Yeah. And I had a great set. And then the booker at the time was giving notes, and I went in line, and uh, same thing. He goes, you were funny, but like, there's no substance. Anybody could tell those jokes, and they're not unique to you at all. Yeah. They, nothing about those makes you. Those a Trevor Wallace joke. This was a 2015. Yeah. But he just goes like, not, like anybody could tell those jokes. Yeah. Like, and it, it just, there's no substance of who you were. And I remember hearing that note, be like, yeah, what the fuck do you know? Yeah. I did well. I got the most laughs out of anybody. Blah blah blah. But then as time goes by, you're like, oh yeah, th- you're not learning anything about me. They're yeah. just quick. Yeah. Like, there's no background to it. Yeah. And that. That note made more and more sense as I went along. Right. Yeah, and now because sometimes like, when you take notes like that, like early in your career, right, you you almost feel like, oh, you're a hater. Like that's yeah. how I felt. I swear to God, like it hurt me so bad when Corey said that to me because I was just like, oh, what a fucking. And there's there's three three other comics that well, two other comics that one. that made me feel like you're kind of hating, but I still, you know, to this day I compliment him, Joe Tory, and then of course Corey Holcomb. And um and then Cedric was the other one, but Cedric like straight up made me feel fucking amazing when yeah. I opened for Cedric. Yeah, what does Cedric say? I, so I Cedric, I opened him, for him on at uh this is so far, long ago. My son was one, so that's like nineteen years ago, at uh, at a casino, and it was sold out, bro. It was like I think four thousand people, man. It was packed, yeah. and uh and uh I'm backstage, and they call me up, and I 
Bro, I smashed. I remember wearing a bright orange track jacket because my wow. whole thing was because I always handed out flyers. Yeah. That was my thing. I would hand out flyers all day. That's I didn't try and sell shit. I would try and hand out as many flyers. Like like it was Halloween. I was handing Just out candy. Tonight, this place. Yeah. Com- yeah. Oh, man. To this day, if you ask comics from, from the Laugh Act, they'll always say Joe Coy was out front handing out flyers. That's all I did. I didn't give a fuck just to get people in if the door. i had a flyer in my hand i'd be pissed yeah I, I had to go home with no flyers that was my wow. goal no, fl- but flies for you right like you're only joe coy joe coy yeah, yes yeah, yeah. myspace.com yeah, yeah. myspace. for like the headline dates no or, or just, just for just spots. i wanted people to go home going who's like, that guy again like that like yeah, i didn't want anyone leaving like describing what i look like i want them to know my name so i would just hand them out and oh it, after the show so after the yeah, show he wasn't, he guys wasn't guys getting people in he was handing out yeah yeah like gotcha. after the show after the show look me up look me up look yeah wow. so so all i did was i wore a bright orange jacket because my whole thing is i want to make sure that they know it's me they remember yeah. the time. so it's the guy in the orange jacket so so i wore this bright orange adidas jacket <laughs> and i go up in front of uh cedric and i bro i fucking crushed so hard like standing oh man yeah yeah and um, saying it was a feature, I was a feature. Yeah, I mean, no, but, but I'm saying, dude, that's but, but that's yeah. that's, yeah. that's an insane Imagine you're about to go out and your feet's getting to stand it up. Yeah, <laughs> you're like fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> standing also, o, bro, full on, full that's on standing so o, man. So sick. Okay, and um, and I was just like, I remember like in my head when when they stood, I was like looking. I, I my my son's mommy was backstage, and I was just like, oh. In my head, I'm like, oh, Seth's gonna yeah. put me in a movie. Like, like yeah. you know what I mean? Just you know, you think yeah. so many thoughts, and it's only like oh, three yeah. seconds yeah. where you got all these thoughts. You look like, at your wife, like, take out the trash. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wash my clothes, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> these socks are stiff. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I go, I go, I and I remember in my head, I'm like, Seth ain't gonna fall this shit. Seth's yeah. gonna eat his dick on no, stage. Really. Like, so why wouldn't you of think course, that? Of course, of course, right? And all this is in a matter of three seconds. It's like you look at people standing, and you're thinking all these thoughts, and then you look to your left right because that's where that's where uh and the standing was for is. him no no that's oh. cedric's on the side of the stage fully dressed up fedora yeah. just matching oh, outfit yeah. so sick, and he's yeah. and he's rubbing his hands and he's bouncing like this he's just bouncing man and then i walk towards him right and i'm like a little nervous because i'm fuck you know yeah, he's gonna say course, something course, like course. what the fuck man why'd you the first thing he says, that's what I'm talking about, Joe Coy. Make me work for this motherfucking money tonight. Let's go, Joe Coy. Way yeah. to do that shit. Bring that shit, boy. And that's then he awesome. walked out. And I remember that was the minute I realized, like, I need to be him. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Don't ever be scared of anyone that's in front of me. Well, and that, and I've always, I've always maintained that. Like when I when I go on the road, I make sure that the person in front of me can only get a standing O or 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 do better than I, one and then f- it's my goal to make sure no one remembers well, their name. I think name. you never crush harder than when somebody <laughs> there you go. When when somebody is either the only times you really, 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 yeah. really want to go like go extra hard on stage yeah. is when somebody ahead of you is either crushing or bombing. Yeah. Because when you're bombing you're like, oh I'll pick him up. Let's get it going. Yeah. But if they're crushing crushing you're like like I used to bring him on the road, but he's yeah. been doing it longer than me. Crazy thing to follow, right? Yeah. So, but I'm in the back of it. Like, okay, okay, I'm starting this. I'm doing that. Yeah. I know your feature. I did a show with Joey maybe ten years ago at the San Jose Improv. Yeah. I had. You don't even understand. My features have always been beast. You know what I mean? Yeah. I took. You know, I take Batch. Uh, who else? Uh, I took Matt Reif on the road. Oh, I took. Yeah. Uh, God, man, I took so many. Chris, I took Chris. I took. Oh, that's I, I right. took so many like powerhouses in front of me, and I but, love that because it's well, like smart. that's who I want. Yeah, it's like well, it I, it's makes Cedric, for a bro. good show. Yeah, it makes dude. for a good show, but also and it makes you good. You're like, yeah, yeah. like you can't say you're a headliner when you can't follow your feature. You can't follow your feature. You right. can't call yourself a headliner. Like you got to like, be able to follow the person I bring too is like a person I could also like talk shop with me as well, which I think is super important too. Like you get back to the green room, the shows are over. You're talking yeah. like it's fucking tagged and what, and then you're like you're sort of like helping each other. But if yeah. you bring Everybody someone benefits. that sucks, you yeah. bring someone that sucks, you're like. You can't talk about yeah, comedy yeah, this yeah, person. You're like, like, go get me a vanilla iced Americano. Dry. Make it dry, dry you dry. bitch. Yeah. And say dry. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say dry, we're cutting minutes. Say Man. dry. God damn. Boy, am I parched. Psych wrong. I'm drinking liquid IV, baby. Dude, they've been a sponsor for the show for quite some time. So if you love us, you love liquid IV. All right. Here's the thing. I'm always traveling. I'm running low on hydration and I never have time to drink water. I hate drinking water. Oh, let me guess. I got to pee more. No, I'm sick of it. The problem 
with water is it doesn't hydrate you as much as it should. So what you can do is you pour one stick of liquid IV in there, and that equals two to three water bottles. I don't think you're fucking listening to me. Two to three water bottles. Dude, it comes in 12 delicious, refreshing flavors to keep your hydration routine inch Right, sting. I, I love the watermelon one. They got a vitamin C one. They got a matcha one. Gabe, what do you like? Uh, I just had one of the lemon ginger caffeine ones today. Not bad. So good. Well, because I uh, I had a cup of coffee this morning and then I right. wanted to, I needed more caffeine, but I was also like, I haven't drank enough water. Boom. Boom. It's like nine birds with one stone. <laughs> okay. It's made from quality ingredients, non-GMO, free from gluten, dairy, and soy. All things that would kill me. All right. It's got all your essential vitamins, B5, B3, B6, B12, and vitamin C. Listen. If you want to hydrate and water tastes dumb, it fucking tastes like <laughs> hot air. Get it gets flavor in the water. I've done enough babbling. Real people, real flavor, real hydrating. Grab your liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco. That's right, they're in Costco. You know they're fucking successful. Or if you want to get 20% off, go online, baby. Save that dime. Go online. 20% off if you go to liquidiv.com and use promo code SOCKS at checkout. One word, SOCKS. That's 20% off anything. Anything when you shop better hydration today using promo code socks at liquidiv.com. God damn. So what's next for you? What are you working on? I mean, you're what, so I got the the special that I'm gonna shoot for Netflix. And that's on top of the pyramids in Egypt. Where are you doing that again? We're shooting on top of the pyramids okay, of Egypt. That, yeah. So, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and how and many it's called on that? top of the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, how many people are gonna be there? 1.2 mil? <laughs> All of Egypt. So <laughs> yeah, we can't get it's a head count, cool. a proper head count, that's but pretty cool. Yeah. It's already bought and paid for. Yeah, I heard. I yeah. Heard. yeah. Yeah. Have you ever rented a there. pyramid? Uh twice. It's insane. I went to a bass pro shop once. It's out of this world. Because they were built by Alien. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're doing comedy here. <laughs> yeah, man. So let me ask you this. When at what point in my career do I get to start flying private? No, you bro, I told you this when I first met you, man. You you guys are you're so talented. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I'm serious. Like and I love watching the, the guys coming up. Like, you know what I mean? Like I, I said it years ago about Mateo Lane. I he's told my so agents much, like such a I told my agents like six years ago or five years ago. It was what well, no, not that long. Like right before the pandemic, I saw oh. him. So like four years ago, yeah. right? And I and I go, I told all my agents and managers, I was like, hey guys, this guy's the fucking shit. Get him. Yeah. You see people that's got that star power, and it's yeah. Like, yeah. you know within seconds. It's not even star power. It's just you're fucking funny. Good. Like, but, but, yeah. but, but like you so embody good. it, you embrace it, yes. you are, it's you. Yeah. It's, it's not like you're doing this act. It's like you're just yourself, and that is the act. Yeah. Star power in the sense of they're, they're confident and they're just crushing. Yeah. It. And you can just see someone that's just Right, they got naturally it. funny. Yeah, it's just it. you just you talk and you just you're just doing it. And also, Mateo too is like I think now because comedy has become such a business, yeah. you need to be past funny and past like what you what you had to do thirty years ago. Thirty years ago, in my opinion, you had to be you had to crush. Right? Yeah. But now it's like you have to crush, but you also have to be a you have to be crazy business savvy. Like yeah. all the people that are doing crazy numbers right now, think well, about all of them. They're all very business savvy. Yeah. Like, having the personalities very strong on and off stage. That's yeah. What, yeah, yeah. And and you're like a that's good what we person. learn from you guys though. That's what's cool about this savvy? little tit for tat. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are smart, man. Like you, yeah. I mean. You know, remember, I, I had business cards. Like, that's what I had to pass out. You guys have yeah, yeah. everything. You can edit shit. Like, I yeah. had to hire an editor and just for a videotape. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I remember going to this guy's house, and he had, like, these video recorder editing things. You know what I mean? I just yeah. remember going, whoa, that's the future. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's yeah, just yeah. like. Floppy disk. Hey. Wow. There you go. Yeah. Beta he goes, Max. I burnt this on a DVD-R for you. I'm yeah. like, wow. He goes, yeah, write yeah, your yeah. name on it with a Sharpie. That's like, you know, the, well, you guys, you guys are, marketing. you guys are editing shit with, with, uh, with filters and sound and all this yeah. on your phone. Like it's, and you, but you guys are not only, not only are you doing it, but you're good at it. Like, you're so good. Well, you have to find a way to promote, one, you're funny, and two, promote shows. And yeah. the amount of show flyers people see, show flyers do nothing. So my my head, I go, all right, let me take a one-minute stand-up clip, but at the end, we'll slap on the tour dates, because then you get laughter. Yeah. And then at the end, it's like, oh, you laughed? Oh, there's some tour dates. But if it's just a flyer, you're like, oh, you're doing a comedy show? I didn't laugh at the flyer. What's yeah. so funny about you? So yeah, I always yeah. think about uh, the, what's the content first and what's the marketing second. Yeah. People like what they see, they're going to want to go to yeah. what's promoted at the end. Yeah. So in a sense of like flyering and doing all that back in the day, you want it to be remembered. It's yeah. like, you will remember me. Now I'm like, you will laugh and here's the ticket. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it's a, a dual-sided thing. Yeah. You can do one or the other, but you got to merge the two. I love that you're telling me this. I <clears> sold out the forum, so... Thank you for telling me how to 
how to push tickets. How to push tickets. A forum? Like, was it a Reddit forum? <laughs> um, no, I'm saying. I'm, I'm joking. I'm talking I'm to the people with you. I just like to, behind you. Yeah. Which is everybody. No, no, no. I, on top of the world. Pyramid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I'm saying for us to find the, the, it's just, the new age of promoting. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. the way you guys do is so good. Like, I always compliment this guy. I do. You yeah, you're out. just, you're so good, man. It's crazy. And Batch is another one. Yeah, Batch, yeah, Batch is, is just so like, good, they're, they're, it's like you guys speak this language that I can't just learn connect, it. Yeah. I really cannot learn it. I try my hardest. You know what I mean? The ideas are in my head, but mm -hmm. the way you guys go from your ideas to, to actually making it happen is it's, it's insane. How, yeah, it's, thanks, man. I appreciate yeah, that. it's so dope. So I can't wait to see the next you know what you're about to do because it's it's gonna blow up yeah, real I don't know, fast I don't know what's happening yeah is it's, it really do you pitch yourself because i you know i i got on such a deep uh dive with you really yeah man i was just so in, like it was crazy like i didn't know who you were bro mm -hmm. i just i just like i went to uh I hate people that say shit like that too, by the way, but I really didn't oh, know that's who you were. Like, my boyfriend's a huge fan. Yeah, I well, hate bring that him shit. Man. Yo, why the fuck are you the yeah. meet and greet, bitch? Yeah, Get the fuck out of here. Why are you the meet and greet? It's such a stupid thing to say. Oh, I didn't yeah. know who you were, but I thought you were funny. Yeah, why are you saying the first part? Yeah, yeah, man. God. Dude, can I take a picture for yeah. my. My mom, co yeah, yeah, for some like, no, bitch, we can take one for you. you. You're the one that came up. Yeah, yeah. you're gonna jerk off to it later, dude. Yeah, Don't yeah. fucking lie to me. <laughs> no, but I went on a deep dive with you because it's like. You know, I've heard of you. Mm. Enrique told me about you, and I'm just like Trevor. Glaciers, he's Glaciers. like Trevor. Trevor's tre yeah, yeah. Trevor. Trevor's uh, here at the factory. I'm like, okay, who's Trevor? And I and I and I remember opening up your thing, and I was like, oh, this guy's funny. And then I then I started like watching because it was like consistent. <clears throat> You're like, God damn, this guy's good. It's my goal. And then I went on a deep dive, and I went. I think I went all the way back to your like High your school college photos. days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? And I like you were even videos. funny there. It was like yeah. you were you already had something there. I'm just giving out substance. In your dorm, right? Like yeah. you were yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, right? Yeah, yeah. Am I am I making yeah, this yeah. up? But it was just like I was like, God damn, this guy already like already knew what he was without even knowing what he was. Yeah. I think you were Some just doing clicked, it for fun. Yeah, yeah a little and bit. Then, but and then it became, oh, I'm a thing. Like Well, I remember I did stand up for the first time when I was 17 and after that moment I was like, how do I make this a uh, living? How do I make this a career? Yeah. And I made my first video in college when I was a sophomore on Vine and then a few of those started to get some traction. I go, this is what I, this is all I want to do. I want to figure out the stand up vertical and I want to figure out the videos and just how do I just merge these until that's all I'm doing. Yeah. If I can make a career out of this. I remember in college my sophomore year for a communications class, communications the dumb ones. I yeah. was in that class. That's what I took. Yeah, but, but can, can I tell you why I took communications? For to, talk, to, talk, no. to talk to people. <laughs> But no, it, I'm being serious. Yeah, be, be, dude, that's exactly why I, I, I did it. <laughs> there was people in that class. They were talking. The class, the paper, the whole yes. thing, they're shaking, they're sweating. I'm up there, notes riffing, crushing. Same here. But I, did, <laughs> but I swear I to God, get it. you know what I'm talking about? Bo Jackson but, breaking Jonas. his hip. I swear to God, really? that was my speech. Yes, I to Damn. this Damn. day I remember it. He had a metal it. hip, right? Yeah, he had he had a whole hip right. replacement. And but, I remember, we, but that's what that was my speech. And the only reason why I took it is because I was like, I need stage time, and I need to get in front of like, yeah. I gotta work I on this wanna, Bo Jackson yeah, bit. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs> and broad daylight, Tuesday at nine a.m. I need to get this bit out. Yes. So I remember doing that. Everybody, the first assignment was to talk about what your dream job was. I went to San Jose State. I'm not a smart kid. Shout out San Jose. They Did love you me do there. four years? Four and a half. Wow. Maybe five. I don't know. Yeah. You, I, Def, definitely six. I I graduated in four, but I was still taking classes online. Yeah. I'm a DeVry baby. <laughs> Anyways, I went to San Jose State, but I was up there and everybody was giving a presentation on what their dream job was. Yeah. And everybody's talking these big jobs, six figure jobs. And I remember I was presenting to the class that I wanted to be a stand up comedian. And I remember the highlight because we had to talk about the salary. And it goes, uh, stand up comedians can make anywhere from ten to thirty thousand dollars a year. And I remember being like, dude, that's not bad. Yeah. And now you sneeze and you make that much money. That's how much you paid the valet guy out front. Yeah. Dude, man. he lost and he wasn't even, grand to be here. It's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I just my agent just called. He's like, "Why are you there? You're doing what?" Yeah, he's like, huh? "Why and when are yeah. you leaving?" You're no, in but the it wasn't even a ballet socks. guy. I just gave a guy money, and I was like, "Watch my car." He's like, "Dude, yeah." He goes, "I have my own car." I'm like, "Just stay here you know until I do. come out." Joe Coy, yeah, arenas, yeah. EJ. <laughs> but I remember learning that in the com communication class that it was like ten to thirty thousand dollars, and I was like, "Dude, that's." Pretty chill. Yeah, Dude, man. Here's the crazy. Here's cra and everyone's gonna disagree with me, or maybe not. Thirty grand to do your dream. Yeah. I'll take that any fuck. Oh, I would rather make thirty I'll grand do it doing for free. that. I literally would do this Give for free. Give me Rolex. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> I would literally do it for free. I love it so much. But that's what people ask me. And this is such a weird thing. It would be like, what are your hobbies? I'm like, I don't know. I just like to work. And they're like, yeah, but like, what do you like to do? I go, I like what I do for a job so much that I don't see this as like this tedious, like, fuck, I got to clock in, yeah, clock man. out. Do you have hobbies? Do you have, do you, what do you do to get away from Because we don't get away from this and we want to blow our brains out. So look, what do you, what do you do? I just, I don't know. I like, I like to eat and I just yeah. like to think. It's the weirdest shit. So I'm constantly just trying to be creative, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Like so when I'm you're, when always you're, just thinking. It's crazy. Like when you're I, thinking, I, I just, would be insane if I didn't have a stage to talk on. Yeah. When, when you're thinking, is that like is that like a walking around? Or is that meditate? Or yeah. What does that look like? That's Bro why I always lose shit. I lose everything. Like it's it's. I'm literally in my head just thinking uh, about like my set, or I'm thinking about what to this and. You're never present. No. Like I'm I'm constantly thinking. Of like right now I'm thinking. Yeah. Like I have this studio that I'm building, and it's just like. Oh yeah, I can do this. Oh yeah, do my like, notes app is yeah. And then I'm getting inspired crazy. by this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. getting inspired by this. Like looking around, I'm like, okay, cool. I have a trash can filled with shit. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, it'll set it off. You have know? the windows yeah. boarded up yeah. like we're in a trap house yeah. in Tarzana. But so I mean, do you, do you go on vacation? Because the, the the problem is when you travel every day, you're like, I don't want to be on a flight. Yeah. I want to be at home. Yeah. So, but do you like? Do you have a go to place where you like to vacation, or just be like this? Hawaii. Is where I See, I love Hawaii. I tell yeah. him that it's the best place to ever go. Hands he's down. Like, he's like, it felt like Fort Lauderdale. I'm like, You're yeah. an idiot. I went to the wrong place. I love Hawaii. Yes. It's that's ugh, and Lahaina. Like, we're coming. Believe me, we're we're we we are planning. I know I've said it, but when the plan is complete, believe me, we're we're bringing the money dude, and and, and we're gonna get it to the hands place. of the people that need it. Lahaina, yeah. everyone, yeah, yeah, please smart. remember Lahaina. Yeah. And Guam, you guys. I just sent money to Guam too. So make sure you guys take care of Guam too. These people are not being seen and there's still people like Why without electricity and you know what I mean? Like Guam got hit hard with these hurricanes and these schools don't yeah. have lights and shit. So like it doesn't take much, man. It doesn't take much to just help some people out, man. Cut, all you have to dude. do is call a school in Guam and, and just donate to that school. You're, you're doing great. hundred bucks, 10 bucks, whatever you can. Yeah. There's a lot of schools in Guam that don't have lights and books and shit. They got hit really, really hard yeah. and people forgot about it. You know what I mean? And, and, and of course Lahaina as well, man, come on, man, we can, we can help these people. I'm sorry to bring guy. it down like no, that. No, 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 dude. You're yeah, such yeah. a good guy. I'm like, I need to be better. Yeah, I know you don't. I bought a chocolate bar of a, a child recently. <laughs> All right, pause. Maybe cut that out. What, yeah, what yeah. happened? At the store. They're selling chocolate bars. Yeah, yeah. And I gave him a fuck. Oh, yeah, all right. The chocolate bar wasn't physically on the yeah, kid. And, all right. Like, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, no, it's a nice chocolate I, bar I, I, kid. Listen, I gotta break this detail down. I picked that up without my hands. Jesus no, Christ, bend over. Over. And this guy was selling chocolate. Yeah. And I said, get away from me, you yeah. child. And I threw yeah. a five at him. All right. Just, <laughs> but I'll take that as a philanthropy event. Just as yeah, long as yeah, this kid's yeah, not on an island, I'm fine with it. Oh, God. Um, you got a favorite, you love food. You got a favorite restaurant in town. You got a favorite place. I don't. Nothing. I don't. Well, there is one spot and I'm not going to give it out. So. Yeah, I'll yeah. give it to you off camera. There we go. But I, I'm going to gatekeep, and I hate gatekeepers, but this one I want to keep. Okay. Because my last- Is it a low-key place, and that's why? Yeah, it's low-key. Okay, good. I already told Batch, and God damn it. He's, he's already blowing it up? Well, he went, he went, and uh, and it started getting a, a little packed, and I'm, it's a little too packed for me, so- What is it? Like a- uh... I'm not going to tell you that, I will do but I will we'll tell you off, off we'll camera, off. Yeah, but yeah. it's, it's just, it's, it's a spot that I like. I'm going to laugh so hard. if It's like a Capitol grill. It's a, it's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. you try these fish fillets? Hey You're man, like, do you guys like cheesecake? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah. This they guy got went to Hawaii and ate Cheesecake Factory. Yes, no, did. you didn't. Dude, I went to the wrong place. Okay? Yeah, you Wait, sure just, the fuck did. I it. went in the heart of Honolulu and didn't like ex venture out. Yeah. I didn't venture. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not good at traveling. I go, I land, I do shows, I go home. I'm so bad at He FaceTimes, you go, you know they serve drinks and pineapples? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I'm fucked no, up. Man. Bye. Yeah. God, I love Dude, that. I had the most average time, and it's my fault. Yeah. I need to go back with you, Dude, and you need so to show me what's happening. amazing beaches. Oh, it's beautiful. Dude, I, man, I fucked up. I'll be I the fly first one to all my nieces and nephews. Can I yeah. be your niece? Oh, yeah, how do we get in the family? Let me 14 be your niece and nephew. Can I be go. your step yes. nephew? Yes, Not you sexually? Can. <laughs> yes. Or sexually, dude. I'll watch that. <laughs> Just put some Didn't chocolate you? on your body. Let me let me take it off you. God damn. Hoo choo. Blue Chew! Baby, it's cock time. Here's the thing. What is Blue Chew? It's a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitro. But who gives a fuck about those companies? They're not Blue Chew, okay? Here's the thing, it's chewable and it's got the same active ingredients and at a fraction of the cost, okay? I've said a lot of buzzwords here and you're like, whoa, what does this mean? I don't have a problem getting bricked up or you do have a problem getting bricked up. 
that's not my fault, but I'm here to help. Blue Chew is that for you. And you're like, oh, I don't need it. Oh, okay. How's your round two? Answer me. How is your round two? Trev, it's not great. I got to tell you. That's what I'm saying. So have you been taking Blue Chew? You know I have. Round two, it's Chew. Ah, fuck. <laughs> My brain needs Blue Chew. My personal favorite thing is they send it to your door, which is great. Dude, if you've been listening to the Patreon or the other episodes, you know I've been in and out of the doctor lately. Dude, Kona's doctor is fucking embarrassing. It's sad. The guy's eye is drooling out of his nose. And you're like, why, why, why do, this is like making me depressed. Or you can just open your front door and be like, package for my package. Also, the first month is free. Huh? All you gotta do is pay $5 for shipping. That's it. But your first month is literally free. What do you have to lose? So try Bluetooth for free when you use promo code SOCKS at checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping. That's Bluetooth.com. Promo code SOCKS to receive your first month free. Visit Bluetooth.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Bluetooth for sponsoring the podcast. God damn. So with, uh, well, I'm, I'm always interested in this. Like you're, you're doing so fucking well. You have a, a like a, a kid. How how do you how do you? I mean, your kid is older now, but when he was younger, yeah. how did you how did how did you manage that? I'm asking for advice for myself. Okay, good, thank you. One of the you said you you had a one year old when you're with Cedric. Was that the was that the one year old? He was just born. Yeah. So you, you look at your son and be like, I'm crushing. No man, that was a scary time. That was a scary so scary what, time. But I was how, glad. I was glad I had him. But three jobs. I was working at Nordstrom Rack. Borders books and I was cleaning yachts on Marina Del Rey all at the same time and doing stage time at the Laugh Factory. Wow. Oh my God, I forgot, you know, I forgot about my come up, but Tiffany too. Tiffany was, her and I are like this, you know? Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she yeah. used to watch my son. <clears throat> really? Yeah, so it was like Gabe, Tiffany's Kev, Tiffany. So just while. imagine my class and, and yeah, here I am awesome. still just. So the same way that you have yet. somebody watch your son is what I do when I leave my cat for the weekend. <laughs> I live alone and I'm like, hey, Madison, these shows ain't gonna sell themselves. They're gonna leave the cat at the house. You know? That's so funny. I drop the cat at my parents' house. They're like an hour away and then I just drive back. <laughs> so, what would you do? Would you take your son? No, with I got you, my, no, you, I got my, you, you know, my best friend is, you know, my son's mommy. So, we're divorced. Got you, but, got you, got you. But, you know, we're, she's my best friend, dude. I bought her a house okay. in front of my house. Did you really? really? Yeah, she lives right in front of my house. And then you it's see the craziest shit. And I'm you like, you see a different part car, and you're like, who the fuck? Yeah, yeah. A Hummer too. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Is that a Patriot sticker on the back? That's hilarious. No, you're <laughs> stupid. Motorcycle <laughs> with, with, di- with different parts. <laughs> <laughs> he put this fucking thing together. With these handlebars. Oh, fucked up. But uh, no, I and whoever she dates, uh, yeah, it's yeah. it's all good, man. I didn't we're, about that. We're in my cool head, like I'm that. like, where did your son go? It's like, yeah, there's. And we've Dude. always been just great. I, I always told her that no matter what happens in my career, you don't have to get a lawyer. I will increase whatever support. Yeah. That, like, I will take care of you. I, like, we're going to be, we're going to be. You make me want to be better. Yeah. yeah. Well, does, it's not that hard. Well, I come from a divorced, you know, divorced parents. Hey. And, and I know how shitty that feels yeah. as a child. And, and I told Angie, I told Angie that uh, it, it's never going to happen to our son. <sighs> And we're not going to separate our families like the way yeah. my mom's family and my dad's family are. Like my mom's family and my dad's family don't talk. So I don't even know my dad's side. Like wow. all I know is my mom's side. I know yeah. my dad and, you know, I know I have an uncle and, but, but we were never close. Like I don't know them. We never got Christmas gifts. We never got anything. We never went to their house for any holidays. It was always my mom's side. So I told, that's why I do these big trips on Hawaii, yeah. I fly all of her nieces and nephews and I fly all my nieces and nephews and, and oh, they're all so best cool. friends. That's awesome. Yeah, and I've been doing it since they were tiny. It's just so cool because you are gone so often and always on the road, but that when you when you show up for the family, you bring everybody Oh, together. I bring everybody. It's an unofficial family barbecue. Yeah, yeah. God, that's awesome. It's man. massive. That's so cool. It'll be like two, three weeks in Hawaii. It's that's cool. So, yeah, let me know when you're there. I'll just pop in. I don't even notice. We would love it, man. Yeah, yeah I'll just pop in. Please. Yeah, what's up? Uh, God, that's awesome. So Yeah, man. Wow. But anyway, what you were saying about the kid, man, it was rough. Yeah. It, it really, really sucked. I hated it. There were birthdays I missed out of greed. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was yeah. taking dates on his birthday and, and just like, because, you know, you would just take any gig and then you were like, fuck, April well, say 21st. Yes first before you look at the actual calendar calendar. Yeah. There's a work calendar and your life calendar. And then the date would show, and then it's the date and you're like, oh, it's my son's birthday. Fuck, you know what I mean? And then yeah, you're buying him, should. then you're buying him basketball tickets to make up for it, and you're just yeah. like, but it, it wasn't on his birthday. We're going on a Tuesday. And it's not even about the game. They don't want to see like he's yeah, with you. Yeah, and it, it, it would crush me. But man. now he travels with you, from what I see. And now he sees why I did it, and yeah, that makes me yeah, feel good. Yeah, yeah. That makes me feel so good. 
Oh, that's awesome. Because there was a time where he didn't know what that was. He's just like, what the fuck is yeah, this? What is an Omaha funny bone? Yeah. Like, First of all, it's a Smoothie King arena. Yeah. You watch your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he would even be backstage and be like, what is this? Well, like, he was so young, he didn't understand it. it. He's like, what the fuck? And yeah. now he's like, so now it. he yeah. loves it. He gets it. He's like, oh, I love this. He sees what his dad yeah. did. and Because I, I love to ask super successful people like that because it's like, because I, I mean, I'm, I'm single now, but I had a girl for like a year and on this like kind of crazy tour and, and he's on a crazy tour. And it's like, it's so hard to deal with everything we have to deal with on a, on a day to day basis, with like managers and agents and dates and how the ticket sales and we have to post and edit. And then also it's like you have a whole nother quote unquote job. That sounds fucked up. But you know what I mean? Like with your like girlfriend, your wife. And it's like so much all of the time. Yeah, man. So I just I love to like just ask people that have done it right to just be like, how, is there any advice in that arena? Yeah. Yeah, like, just just enjoy the ride, right? And just remember that it's it's for that one reason, right? It's that dream that you're living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and the cool thing about kids, man, is they they will write the story. You don't ever have to tell them. You know right. what I mean? That's that's the fucked up thing about divorce, right? Like the parents will always feed the kids information, right? Your dad did this, your dad did that, uh, and, that. and then the dad be like, your mom did this, your mom did that, yeah, and right. then the kids are just looking at life and they just kids see like, it. Just pick me up from soccer practice. No, I don't no, care no. Who <laughs> yeah, that's funny. No, what I'm saying is, is they go through life and they see, they, they see the truth. The place. They yeah, go, yeah, yeah. oh, I see why dad divorced you. Oh, I see why mom. Stop like like they see it and then they write the story. They yeah. understand. Well, right? dude, I I just I got like when I because my I am come from a, a family divorce, right? So yeah. my, my it's the same thing. Mom would say stuff. My dad would say stuff. And then you get to you become an adult, yes, or an adult, quote unquote, and then you understand how actually life works. Yeah, and then you go. Oh, but oh. you were saying when I was ten, you're like you're kind of not emotionally available. So this is why why you said, and you're kind of like a megalomaniac. Yeah. So you said this is why you exactly. said exactly, and so then you just correct. you make the you yes. understand because you lived it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all the information they give you is just like it, it's out the door. You're like, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah, I know what happened. I get it. But Unless it, there's some deep dark secret right. that you're not telling me. In like a shed. But what what you <laughs> showed me through like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Exactly. Chocolate. I chocolate. I looked underneath <laughs> that rug. We saw it. And I saw the door. We, we saw the man. I saw the door underneath the rug. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Get in and know this Don't tell your we mother. saw it is so funny. <laughs> but yeah, so that's why yeah. and, and like I was never I just knew that if I just stayed true to myself and like followed what I knew that I wanted to do with my life and just be good to his mommy and good to him. He'd be like, I get it, dad. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I get it. So cool. I, I fucking get it, dad. Yeah. I see why you missed that basketball game. I get it. But was there ever a moment where you're like, now you know, we're getting drunk in London. I get it, dad. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? That's gotta you be for his birthday. Yeah. Arena, so we're yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. But was there a day you're like, yeah, my daddy's got a Ferrari. Vroom, vroom, yeah, get yeah. inside. <laughs> yeah. I get you every other weekend, but what about dude this Tuesday? Bro, I, that's so crazy you said that because I was doing that. Really? Because the money was just coming. And, you know, it's new money. You know, you're, yeah, you went yeah. from selling shoes to be like, I have too much money. Let me buy a Mercedes, right? Yeah. And I was doing that. Relatable. And my son was in my son was in the car seat. This is why I know my son's a gift from God. He was in the car seat and I, I traded in. <laughs> so dumb, dude. I traded in my BMW that I just got uh -huh. for a 550, right? Mercedes, right? Yeah. Fully loaded, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, like. And all, and it was for my son, but it was for me. It was like, yeah, but right. my son will have his DVD player, and he's got reclining seats, and blah yeah. blah. So, that, and I it remember pulling up the DVD player, but it's nice. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't have a Super Nintendo in yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> and I and I'm and I remember picking him up at school, and he puts his car seat on, and uh, oh, you're gonna love this because it's gonna go back to what, what I was saying earlier, and I think this is why I'm so addicted to what I what porn, I do now. Porn, porn. Uh, my son, <laughs> my son got me into porn. It's crazy. No. <laughs> So it's Clip nuts. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh so I pull up, get him from his school. He's putting his his uh car seat in, and I'm like, How nice car. I, I can't remember, man. I can't remember, honestly. Yeah, but yeah. he was a kid. He was a little boy putting yeah. on a car seat, right? And I don't know if it's a booster seat, but I, I think oh, it's yeah. a booster seat. So whatever age that is. And and I remember as he's putting it on, and I go, You like it? Right, because I just bought my condo cash, right? Yeah. So it's like I I don't need a house. Yeah. I got the condo, and I got the, you know, yeah. fuck, I got bullshit money. Let's go. My son thinks right. dad's cool. Yeah, yeah. And and, and then he puts the thing on, and and he goes, I go, you like the car? He goes, why did you get another car? Man, he went like that. He goes, why don't you buy a house? I swear no, to God, we didn't. I, bro, that's on nuts. 
on on your, my son. Your son is a gift on my God. son. And I go, and I remember your it hit me so name hard. Zillow? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's, he's a real estate agent. Zillow Herbert. Zillow Herbert. Zillow Herbert. Zillow Herbert. Yeah, Zillow Herbert. That's wider than me. He's got cards. He hands them out. He hands them out. <laughs> his, motto, his motto. His motto is, I better not have Zillow. a card in my hand, or I didn't do my job. Yeah. I swear to God, it's in quotes. He, he goes. Twelve homes. He goes. Uh, I swear to God, this is what he said. And remember, he's going to like a you know he's going to like a private school. Yeah, so yeah. his friends have houses oh. you know what i mean and i have this condo it's a dope condo by the way yeah, right yeah. it's sick i can hear you telling your son that it's a dope condo it is we got an equinox in the first yeah. floor no, we got bay windows that look at the mountain bro it's like a water it's paid bed. off right <laughs> ocean hills yeah pick your view it's so dope i gave it to my sister i just wanted to throw that in there yeah, yeah. um <laughs> so one. so uh he go he puts the seatbelt on he goes why don't you get a house i go Joe, we got a house. We got the condo, dude. It's dope. And his room was dope. He had a basketball hoop in his room. Yeah, like, yeah. I made it so dope. Michael Jordan painted it on the wall. Race like, car he's got bed? everything. Huh? Race car bed? He had a bunk bed a that he picked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, it facts. was made by Mer uh, Maserati. It was a Maserati <laughs> well, bed. Well, you took a Maserati off the street and you chopped the top off. <laughs> I chopped off. it in <laughs> half. Purple yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the guy that owned it, I was like, get the fuck out get of this out car. Here. This needs to be a bed. Joe Coy. Yeah, do you not know who I am? Give me the keys. And then, uh, and he goes, no, a house with a pool, dad. Damn. It was like that. Like a pool. Like so I could swim. And How quiet was that ride home after bro, that? Bro, I felt like shit. And I swear to God, his uncle, we can, I can vouch for all this. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, his uncle, I called him that night. I go, we need to look for houses, man. Like, And Damn. we literally drove around all day just looking for houses, just driving around. We, were, we went to uh, open houses and shit. Yeah. And then it was the at, right at the end of the night, this guy was folding, a, uh, you know, how the, the real estate guy folds yeah. the shit, right? And, it, and I go, I go, is there anything I can look at it real quick? I'm sorry, we're late. And he was like, are you, are you really gonna buy or like, you know, he was being a dick. Yeah. You know? And you go, Mercedes. And I go, bed. well, I go, yeah, I go, Mercedes. <laughs> yeah. I broke on, another now. lease for this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I got bullshit money. And then he took off, right? He left. Yeah. And then we went in. Like me and his uncle just went in to look uh -huh, at it, yeah. right? Without him. And we were like, and I remember when I walked on that property, I go, this is mine. I'm buying it. Wow. So cool. And then, uh, and I didn't have the money. I didn't have yeah. the money for it. And I, I, I lied to the like real estate agent. I t-shirts at TJ Maxx. <laughs> I put it on. I'm like, this is mine. I'm buying it. That's so it. funny. That's, wow, I didn't man. have the money, by the way. I lied. Really? Uh-huh. I lied. Yeah. What so that's have, a crazy what, story what, too, what by the way. you lied? I told the we real estate agent that I had the money for it. And we just kept, I kept taking them through the ringer until the day I had to give the money. Oh, wow. I, yeah, man. You're, putting, you're, you're calling your agent like, we need we need to do it no, now. No, I, I couldn't even do that. We lied and we got, we didn't get caught. We finally told them we didn't have enough, but I wanted to postpone it and take it off the market. Yeah. This is twice yeah. I did that. I did wow. it with the condo too. And then uh, I lied. And then, <laughs> so then the house all the way up until uh, we needed the money. And then uh, they were like, they, we stopped. And then I go, I promise in six months we'll be back. But I did that just to take it off the market. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I did that. And then uh, wow. and then in six months, we I got the money and I, I went yeah. back about the house. And this is the house that we're living in right now. That's awesome. Really? Yeah, man. And, and we used to sit on the lawn and just drink beers, me and his uncle. And we were like, I'm buying this fucking thing. I swear to God, I'm going to get this thing. You would drink beers before you even owned it? Oh, yeah. We would sit on that property Dude, all with the flashlights and shit. Like, They're back. Yeah, yeah. I, I was I, like, I'm buying this shit. What would you do if you walked in and your son goes? And then I bought the house in no front of it. No tennis courts, huh? What, yeah. what would you do if your son walked in and he goes, no tennis courts? I know. There's a basketball court. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's yeah. a crazy that's story. Awesome, it is. I did it with the condo too. I did the same thing with the condo. I lied. I lied and said I had it. But I thought my stepbrother was going to give the money. And he did it. And then I was out. I didn't have any money. And then that's another story, man. How I got that. And but uh, same thing. Did you rob a bank? I robbed a bank. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. What's up? Yep. Fuck Chase you. Bank, huh? They, they couldn't catch you. They couldn't catch me, man. It was like the cartoon. I had a, I had a, the money's flying you, away. I had a, I had a, I had a funny nose and mustache. Yeah, they're like, that's so clearly they, not Joe. So they have no idea yeah. who I was. That's Co Joy. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's awesome. You got man. such great stories. Oh, I would love man. to see you and Theo Vaughn go head to head. If, oh, if you mix a Theo Vaughn story with your Theo. story, uh, Theo's great. That's I uh, love Theo, man. Yeah, he used to record out of here. That's uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, he's he's great, man. We go way back. That's another guy. Really? Yeah, we go way back. Well, I mean, you. It's probably so cool to see the people that you were really close with and and uh, know watch them have their their big pop. Yeah. And whether it's before you or after you, it's cool to just watch. I them remember when Theo first started going on stage at the Laugh Factory really? too. Wow, really? You know, he's a story guy, but I remember him going up at the factory and I'm just be like. That's the guy for the real world, right? Like, yeah, yeah. He had a, he had I remember a, yeah. seeing that. 
you know yeah, and then, my, i saw him on last comic standing years and years ago and yeah. he still had the the funny kind of like southern point of view on life but it's, yeah but but once he tapped and found what his lane was it yeah. was just unstoppable yeah he's beautiful to watch he's man. awesome i love that great guy human like so i love all those so guys yeah. Yeah, yeah i love all of them uh, but the got, next gen i love you guys hey man. that's well, good us. yeah I'm gonna um, shout some guys out too. Please, man. Asif yeah, who, Ali. Awesome, oh, hilarious. I fucking Asif love him, Ali. He's great. Is, he works his ass off. I keep telling people, watch out for Asif Ali. He's in a movie yeah. with Harry Styles and yeah. he's doing fucking fourth wall. Bro, let's just talk about his damn stand up game. You know he's what I mean? Like, yeah, he's, he's so that's good. That's all I, I care about. I can care less about anything else. He was in my movie. Yeah. But yeah. I'm the, anything else. That's another guy, man. When I was doing the Chicago, uh, oh, what's the name of that venue in, 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 in Chicago? What's the name of the venue? Zanies? Zanies, yeah, yeah. right? It's just 100 yeah, small, seats. Yeah, 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 yeah. So back in that day, when I was doing that room, um, before the United Center, uh, <laughs> I was waiting for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it it did felt too humble. Yeah. I was like, I gotta change. Yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, even what I said, I was, I gotta brag. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I gotta brag. You know what I yeah, mean? It's yeah. an accomplishment. Zanies hundred seater. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but even then, like I was doing hundred, and I remember him and his brother. This is a great story. You're gonna love that. I'll say, and then I'll be done. Uh, he came. He came, and he would watch my show every show. Asif? Awesome, yeah. yeah it, this yeah. before, I think he was barely doing stand-up. Like, he was, yeah, like, yeah, maybe, yeah. like, six sets in. I don't know, maybe a year in. Whatever it is, right? And he's watching every show. He's got a beanie on, his glasses, and he laughs. <laughs> yeah, it's right? a great laugh, yeah. And then he's got his brother, Mohammed, right? And uh, and he would come to every show. we just hang out. we would eat every day. I just met him right there. Like, mm -hmm. he was just so cool. We met him. And he's like, yeah, man. Um, I remember the last day uh, I was leaving. He was like, yeah, man. Um, I'm going to move to... I'm gonna move to Los Angeles. I'm gonna be a comic man, and my brother's gonna be my man, my manager. <laughs> Remember, he's driving me in his brother's car. Right, we're yeah, driving yeah. around so his you brother's can't car. Say no. Well, no, I am saying no in. because the car looked like your your trash can. Okay, it was just <laughs> shit everywhere. Yeah, 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 just shit everywhere. Oh, same fuck. thing. But fucking bottle. Get, yeah, just fucking shit everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And I just I told him to. Pump your brakes, right? And I'm just being honest, right? I'm just like, hey, man, not yet. Work on it here. Then go to Hollywood. Like, yeah. to, imagine someone telling you, your brother, I'm going to go, I'm going to make it as a comic, and my brother's going to be man I mean, my manager. And you're like, tell me that all the time. And you're like, ah, yeah, hold on, man. Like, that's a lot. You know, yeah, that's yeah. a lot of layers. Like, you work on stand up, let your brother work on management. Don't go as a team. Yeah. And then fast forward to now, it's like his brother's his manager. And he's really fuck, yeah, dude, Muhammad. Hey, Muhammad, have you, you know, dude? Muhammad is so fucking. Oh, cool, man. Muhammad hey, like, is so dope, bro. And just yeah. like them, they're just them beautiful. Once. And the fact that they had this dream and they and they they and they're went, doing it, man. They did it, and they're, they're doing, doing it. it, bro. Awesome. And Asif is just a genius. Who and, else are, are are you on your radar that you're like this is? The uh, Kev Herrera, I like Kev. Mm -hmm. uh, um, Andrew Lopez. Um, Andrew Lopez is great. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, you, uh, you. King Batch, uh, who else? Uh, I think his name is, I think his name is, oh God, I don't want to fuck his name up. Nikki Prince? He's another one that's yeah, let's get this right. is it under Paris? my radar. Nikki, Nikki Paris. Paris, you're Nikki right. I'm Paris, sorry. Yeah, you're you right. Nikki Paris, Nikki bitch Paris. on Instagram. He's fucking hilarious. So good. good. His energy Nikki is great. Bro, Nikki Paris. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, Nikki Paris, bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, dude, holy shit. He's another one. He's a monster. He, him, like, dude, like, I just, just recognize people that are like God-given you know, naturally funny. Well, they're enjoying the process on stage and they're like connecting with the audience yeah. and it's like this moment. Yeah. I just, I'm tired of like people like vouching for people that aren't that good. <laughs> 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 like, you know what I mean? Like there's so many good guys out there that need that, that hand and need that yeah. shout out. And like, as you know, Asif is killing it right now, but where's this hour special? You know what I mean? Like mm. I've been talking to so many people about him yeah. trying to get him an hour. Yeah, would you ever do something that's like Joe Coy presents and you put on like I six would, I would love that. But like someone like a uh, Asif Ali, like he deserves an hour. Like yeah, yeah, he, right. fuck a 15 minute, yeah, fuck yeah, a yeah, 10. Yeah, yeah. The guy's proven. He's mm -hmm. so good. The He's last not, time I talked to him, I think it's in the works. Well, if it is, something. it needs to hurry up. And if I could yeah. direct it, I want to. And, I, and yeah, by the yeah. way, this is something I've talked to him directly yeah, about yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. So, but I just want his name out there. And I just love, yeah, I love four. Fortune. I love God. There's so many people, and I feel bad I'm not mentioning them right now. But there's a lot Jeez. that I just really, really love. Yeah, dude. Com comedy. It, there's there's so many like per capita. So many funny people. Like, yeah, man. So many funny people. There are. Yeah, and, and I you love need it. Two. You know, LA oh, I'd sevens. love for you to jump on, man. Dude, you guys, jump on. Next movie. Unannounced. Unannounced. Just jump on. Like if you see if you see me in a town and and you want to 
go up. Just you doing me. MSG anytime soon? I'm doing well. You know, I'm shooting my special in New York, and I already where? did MSG. Where? Where? I did MSG already. What, what day are you doing this? I'm special? doing November. November what? I think November 10th and 11th. That's 11. when I'm there. I'm there too. Dude. November 10th and 11th. <laughs> are you serious? What are you doing? No, no he's fucking around. Oh, you I, did. I, I leave November 2nd, but I'm just going out there just for <laughs> for a week. Oh, okay. Well, I'm shooting my special, and it's going to be Brooklyn and. And the reason why I chose Brooklyn is, you know, I didn't want to do another arena. <laughs> no, no, you don't. That, I didn't mean it like that. I know, I know, I, know I didn't mean didn't, it like that. I know you didn't, but it really fell yeah, into yeah. the character. But <laughs> I didn't want to do it like that because I just did back-to-back -back arena mm -hmm. specials, and it's like now I want you everyone to change see. it up a little bit for the people at home. <laughs> no, I, I'm not even being. Well, not only that, but I want you to see a different dynamic, right? Like I want you to see me in this different setting, and the way we. We're setting up the King's Theater for this one. It's going to be so sick. Stan Latham, shout out the way he sets up his. Is he directing uh, it? No, no, no. Stan, he. I just love Stan so much, and he just love his body of work. And yeah, he's great. You know, and then uh, and he's just a great guy. But uh, but I'll always do sh stuff with Michelle Caputo and and Shannon. Like they're they're my ride or dies till the oh, wheels yeah. fall off. They were there when no one wanted me and. And I, I always want to do stuff with you them. You find your team, you stick with them. Yeah, the whole man. Journey. And we're just really good cool. together. It's we awesome. just get it. And they just know your voice and know exactly what you want. Yeah. And it's like you trust them. Dude, trusting someone to take your vision and execute in it. Yeah. If you find those people, there's no other There's there's no other reason to Why find them. Why would you want to else? find them when yeah, they yeah. work and they do it so well? And they're only going to get better per game. Yeah. yeah. And we and, and the cool thing is they let me run it. Of course. Yeah. And I love that. You know what I mean? They just, they, they hold you my hand. It's personal when you're giving notes. No, man. No, they love it. They love it. I could tell Shannon... You know, I want to direct this and it'll be my own, but I'll be like, oh, I want to take direction. She'll let me, you know what I mean? With no ego, she'll check her ego at the door. Like yeah, she's yeah. just that dope, you know? That's awesome. So, uh, but yeah, but, but those are just a few. That's awesome. I think I we just got two uh, fan written in questions. Yeah. And we'll wrap it up. Yeah, we have. Uh, I we think do. you have a city council uh, venue meeting to run tonight. I'm getting a key for another city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're crazy, naming dude. it. What is it again? Huh? What are they naming it again? Joe Coy. The name of the city? Yeah. Joe, Joe Coyland. Yeah, yeah. Like Joe Coyland. Joe Coyland. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the yeah. biggest amusement I heard you just bought a Costco just to have. I bought it because my refrigerator was too small. Yeah, that's what I heard. So I was that's like, true. I need, I need more food. It's very cold in there. So yeah. I figured, I figured. It's crazy. I feel like you have a great fridge at home. All the it's best drinks. It's beautiful. I feel like there's rows of coconut water. Untouched. I will untouch the pink kind, the kind that's pink. Yes. Yeah, it's like virgin coconut. Do you have, do you have peaches? I feel like you have peaches. I grow them. I fucking yeah. knew yeah. it, dude. Inside but the house, <laughs> which is even crazier. Yeah, I heard you have fake sunlight in your house. How I does have that fake work? sunlight. Yeah. But it's just a guy that does it. I heard he it's owns, a guy. He takes a mirror and he just holds it outside he, and points it inside. He operates the sun. That's what I heard. Yeah, and it's all via wow. drone, so... Tell me how he does it. I don't know. This is Nor sick, do I dude. care. So you're responsible for global warming. I don't care about it. Good. You know what I mean? I think so, it's wealth. I yeah. think it's not real. Yeah, so yeah, let's yeah. go to some questions. It's not real. Oh, it's, it's getting hot. Is real. it? All right, dude. Is it really? All right, dude. Hey, guess how hot. yelling about hey, global warming. Hey, guess how when hot it was. When killed half the ice caps. Hilarious. That's that. why I did it. Guess uh, how hot it was in Vegas. Not this summer, the same house. it's always been every summer. Let's go, dude. The Earth is flat. Let's, yeah. some Let's fucking go. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, all right, guys. We got a question today from Michael, who is uh, early on in their their comedy journey, and they say, uh, "I've been writing jokes and riffing to the point that it's seventy five percent of my daily conversation now. Because of this, my friends now call me a bully and think I'm mean. I really just bust <laughs> balls and call names, but I never mean harm. Am I in the wrong? Do I no, need to find need a balance friends. and chill out?" Yeah, um, you need better friends. You need friends who can bust your balls, but they can also bust yours. I would, yeah. like, I would just like we'll to say this though: it real. Uh, it, it, this is an honest opinion. I think if the you can bust balls in a way where you can let the other person know that you're fucking around. There's people that bust balls that don't let you in that they're fucking around. Yeah. And it can be construed as like, come on, man, I'm having a fucking shit day. What are you doing? Yeah. But are you are you funny bully? Or are you annoying bully that's that, trying to be funny? Right, like I, right, I've right. worked in several offices where it's the guy's the funny guy, yeah. and he's just the annoying, loud fucking guy. Yeah, you walk and up that and like, guy, I fucked your girlfriend. You're like, what? And what? that guy, I can't. Yeah, he, I can't stand he's doing that fucking guy. Pointing out things on your desk. Yeah, Ooh, pink highlighter. Hey, this yeah, guy. Yeah. What, what am I yeah. supposed to use? Yellow. I yeah. think this can be. I think this be a, amalgamation of both those things. You might be bad at doing it. You also might have really sensitive friends. So maybe get a little better at busting balls and get less or, bitch friends. 
Well, also, besides going into the open mic scene, like, you're going to find out that, like, maybe those bust and balls moments are, like, more natural or they're not as funny. Or, they're, or you know, like, th- those might not be the people to do it with. Yeah, man. And, so, and also another thing is just knowing when to do something. Yeah. Like, just be, like... Read the room. Be, yeah, be yeah. aware of that. Look at... The, yeah, read the room. Or self-deprecate first, then go at them. Yeah. Hey, listen, I blank, 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 but you're a blank, 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 you know? Yeah. Boom, boom. One-two combo. Yeah. yeah. I have a small cock, but so do you. Good friend group. Yeah, you know man. I mean? There yeah. we go. There metal we go. Metal attracts metal. Meat we did it. Meat. We solved global warming right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this uh, this next one is uh, an anonymous submission, so they wanted to write in um, and not put their name on it, but their question Then we shouldn't here, read it. Oh, yeah. uh, but that's what's the fun part. Oh, okay. That's, that's why we do it. it. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's why they don't read their shouldn't oh, read okay. it. Uh, so this one's actually not even a question. This is from Gabe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just writing in, getting off his chest. Yeah. So he says, my friend's mom walked in on me when I was sniffing her underwear. No, come on. That he you thought of that. Yeah, I'm not even gonna comment on that. I'll comment. I'm into it. <laughs> S- Wait, fucking you no, that not to into me. That. Dude, this guy's smell, smell, sniffing smelly? your mom's no, no, underwear. No, no, friend's mom. mom. His friend's mom. Oh, I thought he said like, no, no. I, my no, mom walked no, in on no, me no, sniffing no, 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 her underwear. Mom, I'm like, what the fuck? You're friend's back mom. in. Oh, I'm back in. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah, 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 man. Yeah. Friend's mom. What are you talking about? Yeah, friend's mom. So the mom walked in while he was sniffing her underwear? Yeah. Correct. Yeah, he should have been like lunch. <laughs> and just eat the panties. Yeah, yeah, yeah I would yeah, be yeah. like, I was blowing my nose. I didn't see any tissues. Yeah, he's like, you're. Hey, is, is, also, is, is that Steve like here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Wait, what? Hold on. This isn't Steve. This isn't my Yankees hat. Yeah. Put it on your Those head. Those are just smell out. and give a fucking health advice. I think there's too much yeast in this one. <laughs> I'm trying to be a gynecologist, so I'll just make sure everything, all the yeah, pH balance, pH was good. PH water. Sniffing that's your, your panties and saying, I'm practicing is the funniest thing I've ever heard. Or you just go, that's not where I put my phone, and then you jump out of a window. <laughs> Penis doesn't smell like this. <laughs> Ew. And then Dude, run. You like this brand? Is it Japanese cotton? Yeah, you smell it. You I go like circle. That. I call like back. that. I, I like love that. it. Look at it. Perfect ending. Or do we have another one? I, no. let, them, okay. let them write in again and say, what did the mom say? What did he do? How did they resolve this? Yeah. And did they have sex? Because if they didn't, who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm sick of it. Joe Coy, thank you so but, much. That was so much fun. You didn't need to do this podcast. We're honored to have you on. So You're such a great guy. I love You're, you. I, I view you as a mentor and a friend, which Aww. is cool to say. You're amazing. Thank you so Both much. Both of you guys. Thank so, you so much. Thank you for having us. Um, do I get a first, gift? Y- your car That's not being towed here. is the biggest gift. If your car is still out there, then we're on good terms. I love it. You're the best, bro. Um, well, you, you don't need us. to plug anything, but if you want to, say it, but you sell out the uh, fucking Cincinnati, so you, you but, don't but, need well, to. I mean, are you working on a podcast going on? <clears> I know <throat> you started one at a different studio, but then you didn't, it, it never happened. But like, I, I think just, you're I, out, never, but just... I never put my heart into the uh, podcast because... Yeah. I just want to be known as a stand-up comic. Yep. Beautiful. That makes sense. That's it. Yeah. And 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 I, I do, and I, and no disrespect to the podcast game. I love it. I love going on them. It's just me yeah, personally. I don't want. This episode? I don't want to be attached <laughs> to a podcast. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Well, dude, look, you're fucking <laughs> crushing it. <laughs> there and we go. Yeah. Yeah. Blip, 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 blip. Blip. Every time we send to bigger guests, to be like, we just had Joe Coy on. We're going to play blip, this blip, clip blip, of Stiff Socks. Yeah. And be like, oh, I'm in. I'm in. So we'll probably have Gabe on and Kevin in the next week. I love it. But, you know. Awesome. Thank you so um, much. Joe Coy. Love you guys. That's Thank it. you. Peace, guys.